everybody, and welcome to the stream. It's great to see everybody. Oh, wait, I just realized, Jimmy is not in his proper place. There, now Jimmy is in his proper place. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's great to see you guys. Sorry about Wednesday. Um, oh, thank you, Kayla. Uh, I'm officially a college graduate. Nice! Don't know if you saw notice already, but there's an imposter account pretending to be on Twitter. Of course there is. There's always a... I feel like every two seconds there's another imposter account, but they still won't verify me. Hmm. Fun times. Oh, here we go. Nice. I'll have to go look at that later. I haven't seen anybody tag me in that. Which I'm sure will happen. Or maybe that just recently happened. Yeah, no. Don't see that. Okay, I will go look for this later. All right. Um, we got a movie quote. Um, as Yanobo. Oh, Yanobo from Breath of the Wild. I don't remember that voice, but I know Breath of the Wild. So let me. I kind of think of who Yanobo is right now. I'm sure once I see him, I'll be like, oh. Oh, yeah, that guy. I know him. Yeah, he doesn't talk here, does he? Hang on. Number boys. Oh, that's a Japanese voice. Um, well, okay, I thought that was his voice. Okay, if you want to pick up the long sword, I need you to roll for a strength check because your character is like a little wood elf and a. This will be fun eventually, guys. Trust me. <laughs> I've seen, I've heard that one before. That's really good. Uh, even though I'm nowhere near caught up in the videos, I have to watch the stream because this is my favorite game and all the Kingdom Hearts games here. Okay, cool. I've heard a lot of people say that this is one of their favorite games so i'm excited and uh yes i'm sorry about wednesday y'all um oh thank you terry for resubbing woohoo um yeah no i had like this weird it was like a 12 or 24 hour bug kind of thing i don't know what it was but it was like i don't know what it was but i'm feeling fine now i don't know what it was it was so weird um, but yes, today we have Birth by Sleep from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Excitement. Yes, so what's going on? Remember the Vimeo you sent me when I was just starting college to pursue my... I sent a Vimeo? I've never uploaded anything to Vimeo. I wanted to thank you for inspiring me throughout the college years and helping me finish. Well, I'm happy, happy that I could... I oh was it like a cameo because I'm like I've never done Vimeo but I've done cameo <laughs> just happy you feel better today well thank you cameo my bad okay it was cameo I was just sitting there going I hope I hope you didn't get something from somebody pretending to be me but no uh, the cameo makes sense hope it's absolutely nothing COVID related I it, it disappeared almost as fast as it showed up so I don't think it was um, yeah, because it was like I just had a fever for like six or seven hours and then it broke and then I was feeling a lot better after that. And then I just took a day just to make sure I was okay and then I was fine. So, I don't, I don't think COVID can go that fast, maybe. <laughs> um, maybe it was something I ate. Maybe it was. I don't know. I do not know. Missed you Wednesday. Oh, thank you. Yes, I really wanted to do Wednesday because I had a lot of people that have just found me for the first time and they were like, oh, I can't wait to watch you do Epic Mickey. And I was like, yay. And then I was just like, oh, can't do that. But I'm glad that I didn't because even though, yeah, I was feeling a little bit better by that time, if I'd pushed myself too hard, I would have really overdone it and then I would have been out of commission for like two or three days. But yeah. Cure. 
Hey, I just beat the game today. Cool. You just beat this game today? Nice. So, no spoilers. <laughs> By the way, no chapters on the 355 over two days. Yeah, that was intentional. Because it's not like a video game where it's like, oh, you don't know how long it took me to get there. It's just the entire cutscene. So, if you know basically where you want to see in the cutscene, you just go there. That's why I didn't do it. Yeah, COVID does not go away in six hours. That much is that much is true. That's what I figured. And just to be safe, I did take a COVID test that next morning, and it was negative. So, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Well, with that, let's do some birth by sleep. And thank you, Night Tommy, for the for gifting the subscription, gifting the sub. All right, y'all, you ready for some birth by sleep? I am. Sorry about the Vimeo cameo mix up. Oh, no worries. You're used to using Vimeo for college classes. Didn't realize you typed it. It's all good. This game used an autosave feature. Thank you for the stretch. And thank you for the resub. Oh. We have to put it on mute again? Of course we do, because they love to put those songs that are going to get me copyright stricken all the time, don't they? So, here we go. I'm ready for it. All right, no system data found. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, I'm ready to mute it. I'm ready to mute it. Okay, I'm ready. We're gonna mute it. We're going to mute it. Maybe. Nope, it has started. We're not doing, nope. Okay. Oh, night Tommy gifting all the subs. And, oh, we're at a, we're, we're going through the hype train now. Lots of stuff is happening right now. <laughs> Wait, what hype, what hype level did we get to? Oh, we beat level one. And we got to hydrate. Y'all are just redeeming everything right now. All right. We've already gotten to level two, too. Let's get to level three hype train. Okay. I'm also trying to watch what's going on. I don't I don't think are you supposed to know what's going on in this? Cause I don't. Is that Roxas? You know, it would make sense Roxas was in the last game. Oh, and there was Snow White, Aurora. What was that Snow White, Aurora, and Cinderella? It'll be explained in the game. Okay, good. I was like, am I supposed to know what's going on here? I hope not. I'm like, did I miss a game in between? <laughs> Yay, hype train. That's right, Diddy. Oh, there's Roxas. I know that's Roxas. Oh, and I saw Stitch in there. I don't know who this is. Whoa, Splatty Cake. Gifting the subs. Thank you. Oh, and then Wonder Chia's gift and subs. Thank you. Why did I not stream on Wednesday? Because I was sick. But I'm better now. What are my thoughts on Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen rebooting Don Darkwing Duck? I didn't know he was. Wait, Caleb Hiles is in chat? <gasps> Caleb, are you in chat? You here, bud? And we got a hats off. All right, Miss Yvette, do you want the crown like normal or do you want something else? Birth by sleep. Okay, cool. And night, Tommy, thank you. All right, so we got a new game. Let's do standard mode. I can't choose mode like, well, I normally say normal, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Cool.
see. Kingdom Hearts birth by sleep. Wait, are you guys about to do it again? We just did this! Ugh. Fine, can I skip it? Oh, skip scene, cool. Let me put the volume back up. Okay, and we got another stretch. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Knight Tommy. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday, uh, Floridation. Okay. Somebody just said this world was too small. I don't know who that was. Okay. Hit it, dude. Oh, we're at Destiny Island. Is he holding somebody? There, you see, an empty world, like a prison. I imagine you will be right at home. I like this voice, though. Oh, we did it. We got to five tier, uh, level, excuse me, level five hype train. Less than 20 minutes, and we're just going to town here. Is that Roxas? That looks like Roxas, y'all. Hey, where am I? Your guess is as good as mine. I mean, I know you were at Destiny Island. Okay. This sure looks like Roxas. Is this Roxas? The voice you liked is Leonard Nimoy. Oh, there we go. I knew he sounded familiar. I'm a brand new heart. No, this isn't Roxas. This is... The light brought me. I saw it shining in the distance and followed it here. Yeah. That was my light. But my Where is his shirt? Shot. I don't know. And now, the little I have left is slipping away. Then you should join your heart with oh. mine. Okay, am I supposed to know what's going on right now? Because I know there's times in the Kingdom Hearts series where you're not supposed to know what's going on and they explain it all later. There's other times where it's like, oh, there was like three million things that you missed. Now our hearts have touched. Nothing else will slip away. Okay. And one day you'll be strong enough to win back that, the part that already did. Bum, bum, bum. I'll learn later. Okay, good. Artemis, thank you for resubbing. I uh, didn't know I was streaming today. How am I feeling? Feeling fine. Thank you for following. Alright. And y'all are already summoning Johan. Y'all are just like... We miss fr we miss Wednesday, so we're gonna redeem everything. <laughs> All right, let me get Johan. All right, y'all are just ready to redeem everything today. All right, let me go get Johan. All right, Johan, you're up. What's ya? It's time for Johan. So exciting, ya. Okay, Johan, put on timer for ten minutes. I play the game. Don't worry, Brian will be here to watch everything from the side. 
Oh, it's an otter girl. Thank you for the cheers on that one. Do you want to add a character to the wheel? The wheel is full, but I can put you on the list of characters that we are going to put on once the wheel gets spinning again. I can do that if you want. Time to add a character to the backup list, yeah? Yeah, so just let me know what voice you want, and I will make sure that Brian puts it on the list, or I'll put it on the list, that Brian will do it when he needs to, yeah? Okay. Oh, Stitch. All right, Stitch is on the list now, yeah? Okay. Okay, yeah? How is Big Bursa today? Big Bursa is very good. She had a very big fly earlier. Oh, it is lovely. The fly was bugging me too, so I was very happy. Oh, a parrot? Whoever this is can wield the Keyblade, yeah? Do I know of any good games on Steam? Oh, I know Brian loves to play the Planet Zoo, but he loves the Zoo Builder stuff, yeah? He loves those. Johan, glad to see you. Good to see you, Kayla, yeah? Hiya, Johan. Time for fun with Johan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's part of my theme song, yeah? I love the theme song. This looks just like Roxas. Is it not Roxas? I don't know. Because Roxas. A meteor shower. Is this like what happened after 358 over two days but before Kingdom Hearts 2? Johan, you know we can't tell you. I I know. Eventually, we will find out, yeah? Yeah. See much from here. Okay. What do we do? Oh, okay. Okay. So, what do I do? Uh, this is still the jump button, yeah? And then that is still attack, yeah? Okay. Time to spare? What? 
What is it? What else is there to do, right? Press X to attack the ring, yeah? Keep attacking to string together tough combo. Yes, just like the last game. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I probably should have read that. Oopsies! Your command that contains special uh, moves. Use the D-pad or L2 and uh, L2 and R2 to select one, then press the triangle button to use it once the gauge is filled, yeah? What? You want a piece of me too? Oh, this is the magic. I don't do that with the magic, yeah? Quick blitz. Oh, okay. You can lock on to targets so that the camera automatically keeps them in view, yeah? By tapping R1, yeah? Come on, yeah? Once you've locked on, you can switch targets using L1 or tap R1 to exit them, yeah? Uh, Ted Brian, I said thank you so much for the cameo. Oh, you are most welcome! I didn't know that was you, Hufflepuff Disney. I'm glad that you got that, yeah? Um, make sure that you and Brian pay attention to tutorial combat. It's a bit different in this game. Okay. So it is a bit different. Okay, we have the chest, so we go and get the chest, yeah? Whee! Oh, I cannot double jump. Win. Oh, no, I was ready for that to be, uh, just like uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. And you just said it was different. You found the sliding dash command. Press the options button to open the main menu where you can install it into your command deck. All right. Oops. Hang on. I got to do that first and then do that. And we have a movie quote. What am I messing around here for? I'm gonna miss the meteor shower. Oh, he's going to the meteor shower. Meteor shower, yeah? Alright, hang on. First, I have to... Wait, no. Wait, 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 what? Auto abilities are permanent and don't have to be installed into your deck. Deck? You gain an auto ability by raising a command set. With that ability to the maximum level? Auto ability acquired quick blitz has reached the maximum level, so its scan ability is now yours to keep. Auto abilities stay active even if you don't have them installed in your deck. Okay. I don't know what any of this means. You say these things like I should know what they mean. Install commands in your deck to use them. Start by choosing edit deck. There are different types of commands you can install like battle commands and action commands. Get to a command faster by setting up shortcuts with square. Your current shortcut is highlighted in yellow. In combat, you can jump right uh, to your shortcut by pressing the, the left on the D-pad. Commands will level up and increase in power as you collect CP. Defeat enemies to earn CP. Commands at the maximum level are marked with a crown. Okay. So I, I have to add a jump? Wait, what? What's it, what do I do? Alright, um... What? Okay. You just told me to go in here and to, uh, put the command deck, yeah? Yes. Alright, um, hold on. We will do the movie quote, yeah? As way big from Bin Tin plus Miss Jolly from Jungle Junction? You guys are just going through shows. It's just like, I bet Brian hasn't seen that show. Let's ask for all the voices from it. So let's see. Way big from Big Tin. Uh, Johan will not do the voice. That'll be for Brian, but I'm going ahead and look at that for him. Probably pause the game so I'd nothing crazy happens to me. Wait, which one? Who is way big? Is it this? I'm guessing it's this guy? I don't know. Oh. 
Okay, that is my timer. Okay, I have to go get Brian now. All right. I will go get him. Brian, you're up. All right, cool. Thanks, Johan. All right. So what is this? Way big from Ben 10 plus Miss Jolly from Jungle Junction. Okay. So Johan already pulled this up for me. Let me see. Who is way big? It says way big battle, so I'm guessing this giant purple lady looking thing who kind of looks like a giant raven from Teen Titans is way big. Or is it the bit when Ben 10 turns into the giant white, white monster thing? It's the big white guy. Okay. Well, that's got like a robotic echo on it. I can't do that. Okay. I need you to actually talk and not just beat stuff up. I only found that one talking quote in that. Goodness. Do under attack voice. I don't have an overlay for that on stream. That's just on st on my uh, editing software. All right. So we have Miss Jolly from Jungle Junction. Oh, and we got a. Uh, hats off, thank you. What hat would you like? Is Miss Jolly that zebra zebra card thing? Oh, and you want Jack Sparrow? You got it. Okay, so you got the Jack Sparrow wig. It's the zebra, the, the voice. Yep, okay, cool. So she's got the high pitch British voice. Mm, yes. And then he's got the Oh <clears throat> the robotic sound. So we'll put them so we'll put them together and it's something like this. Good day, Sunday. Why is that, Dudley? Harry, do you know why? No post on Sunday. Right you are, Harry. No post on Sunday. Hope that worked. All right. Stream is lacking a lot. Um, it says everything's fine on my software. So it says my internet's fine. So it must be a Twitch thing again. All right. Okay. So I guess we go this way. Okay. Another movie quotes. <laughs> All right. We're already kind of stopped anyway. All right. Could you stop doing that? Can I? Well, I need I need one strand of your hair. My hair is not to be tampered with. Ow! He's waiting for you. Oh, and don't forget your umbrella. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Suppose I need my brother back. Oh, yeah. I've been falling for 30 minutes, and I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> All right. There we go. Wow. We got the meteor shower. I was expecting there to be more T-bones or steaks. Because meaty. Why does he er seem so <laughs> familiar? So I don't think this is Roxas, even though he looks just like Roxas. Because his voice doesn't sound the same. Unless they got a new voice actor in between games, which they might have done. 
Who's Whoa. this? <laughs> Give me a break, Aqua. Aqua. You, oh my god. You hopeless sleepyhead. Wait, Aqua in stream. You know, did you make your name because of Aqua from this game? Did I, I don't know if Aqua's here today. It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. It's the same I voice know. actor? Oh. Doesn't sound like it. Or maybe I'm just not remembering it right. Aqua loves this character. Well, that would make sense why uh, hey, Aqua. Hmm? Aqua wanted to make the you ever wonder what stars make, her are make the name after that. Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say that every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Tara. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. Okay, so we got Terra, Aqua, and the light is their hearts. The rocks just look like I don't know like what what that name is yet. What? I don't get it. Well, in other words, they're just like you, Ven. Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> Ventus, she said hey, his name earlier. At? Oh. I can't help it. But why does Ventus look just like Roxas? These two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay, we have Ventus, Terra, and Aqua. And they seem to be all buddy-buddy palsy, which is good. Also, the pattern I, I mentioned last time, by the way, if you noticed, they always have a trio. Uh, Makes sense. Whoa. So does that mean we don't have Donald and Goofy in this game? I I'd be kind of shocked. But of course, it could happen. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. Oh, it's on Death the, the Island. It's an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charm shaped like it. Nothing can ever drive you apart. Huh. You always find your way back to each other. Yay. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Oh, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, I mean, she what do you mean is sometimes? a girl? Is that so a bad thing? a real good luck charm? Well, that's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? Also, it's a good luck charm. What? An unbreakable connection. Okay. One of uh, three good luck charms Aqua made for herself and her friends the day before the Mark of Mastery exam. Ooh. The Mark of Mastery. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Borrow your friend's power. So Wayfinder allows you to dimension link with friends... Uh, and borrow their powers. You will meet lots of characters throughout the story that you can de-link with. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? I can take you. Well, okay. I guess we're playing as Ventus then. Don't know who any of these guys are, but if oh no, we're playing as uh, Terra. This HP gauge represents your health. Run out of HP and you'll be defeated. Use square to defend yourself. Press it while moving to slide. Oh. Or press square while standing to still hold still the block. Okay. Whee! Ow. Boosh. Take that, Ventus. Boosh. 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 Oh wow. Ventus is easy to beat up. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm doing anything but just like laying in. <laughs> oh wait, I'm supposed to block his attacks? I'm not even letting him attack. Oh, all that was I had to let him block. 
Quit going easy on you. I was kicking your butt. <laughs> All right, hang on. We're going to do this movie quick, real quick. What am I going to do with him? But to the training with the others. No, I'm serious. So am I. He'd be killed by time like the first dragon out of his cage. Oh, you don't know that. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Oh, yes, actually. No, you don't. Listen, you know what he's like. From the time he could crawl, he's been different. He doesn't listen to us. He touches the span of a sparrow. I take a vision he was hunting for. For trolls. Trolls exist. They steal your socks, but only the left ones. What's with that? When I was a boy, oh, here we go. My father told me to bang my head against a rock, and I did it. I thought it was crazy, but I didn't question him. And you know what happened? You got a headache. The rock split in two. I showed it what a Viking could do, God, but he could crush mountains, level forests, tame seas. Even as a boy, I knew what I was, what I had to become. Hiccup is not that boy. You can't stop him, Stoic. You can only prepare him. I know you seems hopeless now, but the truth is, you won't always be around to protect him. He's going to get out there again. He's probably up there now. All right. Oh, thank you, Runner770. And we got a stretch and a posture check. All right. All caught up. The command gauge uh, fills when your attacks hit enemies. If you go a few seconds without laying an attack, it will start to drain. Once you've filled the gauge all the way, you can devastate opponents with the powerful finish command. Well, I did that quite a bit before. I think you could have <laughs> told me that. <laughs> Ventus just waiting like terror. Come on, dude. I know, right? <laughs> Using the triangle commands instead of regular attacks to fill the command gauge may cause you to do uh, make you change command styles. Command styles make your uh, X attacks much more powerful. Oh. Which command style you get depends on the commands you use to fill the gauge. You want a lot more as you progress. Some command styles are tricky to activate. Try all kinds of command combinations. All right. Well, that works fine if you're fighting one-on-one, -on -one, but you need to know how to handle a crowd too. Oh boy. Aqua's coming in now. All right. Wait, am I am I fighting as Aqua? I am fighting as Aqua. Use your shot lock command to hit lots of enemies at once. Okay. Hold down R1 and a big target circle will appear. Then use the left stick to point the circle at one or more enemies and lock on multiple times. While still holding R1, press X to use your shot lock, which hits enemies as many times as you locked on. Oh, that's interesting. Shot lock attacks require focus. This focus gauge will drain when you use them, okay? Okay, let's wrap this up. Choose a character for this fight. Um, well, I haven't fought as Ventus yet, so I'm going to pick Ventus. All right, here we go. Booyah! Told you I'm good. Want to spar again? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's get to the main stuff. Wait, why does it look like I'm about to? Oh, okay. You guys are ready. You're gonna clean up with the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. It's like the master said. Power is born within the heart. When the time is right. You just need to look inside yourself, and you'll find it there. Power is born within the heart. During your travels, you can find new strength by playing on the command board. In this game, you roll the dice and power up your commands as you make your way along the board. There's a board game in this? Okay. You can access the command board at safe points on the world map. The command in your command deck becomes your game pieces. You can also... Oh, this is all hurting my head, y'all. I'm sure this is one of those we're going to get it as we go along. Oh. We don't want to lose track of stuff that's happened. Okay, can we get to the... Can we get to, like, where you can just save 
at the menu screen, you know, that would make life easier. You still have to physically go to a save point. Uh, move into the circle of light and press X to save your progress. Touching the circle fully restores HP. Alrighty. So we go there and we save. Oh, that's interesting. It like takes me to a PlayStation menu instead of like in the Kingdom Hearts menu like normal. Interesting. I will. Oh, I'll be able to like save from the save from the pause menu. That's how it should be with every game, I think. Aqua is looking deeply under Together. the sky. Always. Oh, something tells me they're not going to be together always. I hope they are, but I don't think they are. Every that time they say the that. Last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. Okay, well, they beat me to the punch right there. That was, that was fast. <gasps> Mickey! Is he seriously... <laughs> Like, he's seriously surfing on a book just like Fantasia, and there he goes just like Fantasia! Going down in while he's riding on the book. <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> oh, Yen Sid. I love seeing you here, buddy. Mickey. I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. I love hearing Corey Burton. And this was Brett Island's Kingdom Hearts Save You. Well, he was in the last game, but only on the PlayStation version. He wasn't in a DS version, apparently. Apparently, that was still Wayne Alwayne. But it's... I'm going to miss hearing Wayne Alwayne, but Brett Island is fantastic. In this game, you choose one character at a time and complete his or her story from start to finish. Each character visits different places and meets different people, and only by finishing all three stories will you uncover this tale's deeper truths. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, so we pick now? All right. We're going to do a poll, you guys. You guys are going to tell me who we're going to play as first. Oh, thank you uh, for resubscribing, Ros uh, Rosula? Rosula? Alright. Which character? Oh, if I could spell character. Wow, that was terrible. Y'all can't see it, but oh, it was bad. Which character? We've got. Terra? Aqua? Or. All right, y'all tell me who are we doing first? Oh, okay. Tara is winning by uh, oh 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 no. Aqua's starting to come up. Oh no, Tara is definitely winning. Okay, okay, it looks like y'all really want me to do Terra. I'll give you guys a little bit more time so more people can vote, but it's starting to look like a shutout for Terra. <laughs> Poor Vincent is over there. I got two votes! <laughs> oh my goodness. Did I see the special look trailer for Lightyear? Are you more excited than the last time? Uh, I saw one that was a little more invested, but that honestly made me less interested. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go see it no matter what. Just because i got to see what they do with it. But I'm not super thrilled. <gasps> Kaiba! Welcome back, Kaiba! And thank you for resubscribing for 10 months. 
Brian Terra is about brute smash and bash, so you'll like him. Oh, yeah, I like that. You ain't got to worry about strategy and skill. Just go in there and smack everything. That's the way I play. All right. Well, I think this is a total shutout, so, yep, Terra's going to win. Terra goes first. We'll eventually play as everybody, but Terra wins first. Oh, dude with the creepy eyes. I feel like we've seen him before. He's got pointy shoes. Oh, look at this guy. He looks like a like a seasoned samurai warrior. Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. <gasps> Wait, that's Mark Hamill! <laughs> nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, is <gasps> able to travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the moon. Alright, we'll do the movie quote after this cutscene. Begins. <laughs> it's Fire Lord Ozai. Yeah, or Luke Skywalker, <laughs> or the Joker. Or like you two thirty million other stand. characters. <laughs> You're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. That's right, Vincent. You two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He can take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, then. Okay. All right, hang on. Let me do that movie quote. You need some Winnie the Pooh and an elephant noise. Yes. Hey, say anything you want. Maybe the rumbly tumbly song. Okay. A pool bear takes care of his tummy. No need for my tummy to fret. A pool bear takes care of his tummy. He knows what his tummy must get. Don't worry, my round little tummy. I'm hearing your ravenous plea. When there is no honey, the poo takes the tummy wherever the honey will be. My friends are out there with honey to spare, and they will take care of my tummy and me. Oh, mother. And then we want an elephant noise. There we go. All right. So sorry you're having a stressful day. Hopefully that makes it a little bit better. All right. So here we go. We got the do some destroy the orbs of light. All right. Hey oh, come back here. Come back here. Wait. Oh, wait, did I mess that up? Oh, wait, he's, he's just right there. Okay. I gotta get you, I gotta use to this new fighting style. This dash is new, but I like it. Oh, there we go. Wait, there's another one? It's right above my head. Stand still. Okay. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Oh. There we go. There we go. Booyah!
Yeah, apparently uh, somebody is pretending to be me on Twitter and saying bad stuff, which is not the first time, and it probably won't be the last time. I don't know what's going on with that. Can someone tag me in what's going on with that? Let me go look, because this is like the third time someone's mentioned it today. Let's see if I can find a pretender Brian Hall. I see me as soon as I type in Brian Hall, but that one's me. See if I can stop whoever it is. Yeah, the username on Twitter will be Brian Hull's voice. If it's not that, it's not me. And they can't have that. They were on Instagram too a while ago, or maybe TikTok. Well, I've, I've seen someone on... I had to deal with somebody recently on Instagram and on Twitter... So that wouldn't be anything new. I think I found it. How do they have? I found him. Hmm. This happens all the time. We'll get it. All right. Um, we got a movie quote. Thank you. Quit. Don't quit. Noodles. Don't noodles. You are much too concerned about what was and with what will be. There is a saying, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. So I don't know how that happened. Did I post a picture of the toilet? No. That's the fake account that I'm, I'm working on reporting right now. So I just reported it. If y'all want to report too, go ahead. That would be helpful. Yeah, no, if y'all go to that profile that posted that, it says that, like, they only have, like, six followers. Yeah, no, that's not me. So, I don't know how they did all that. Because it's, like, the same. There's got to be something different with the username. Like, they did a capital I instead of an L or something. That happens sometimes. But, yeah, no, that happens. Okay. But happens all the time. They're going to say stuff like, oh, it doesn't violate community guidelines, so we can't. Oh, no, it they do. I've gotten people taken down before. It sometimes takes a while, but we can get them. All right. If you fill up the command gauge by at least partly using deck commands, you will sometimes change command styles. The command style you get depends on how many and which deck commands you used. Okay. I don't know what any of that means, but we'll figure that it out as we unexpected. go. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! Oh! Aqua got close on that one.
Did I hear Lin-Manuel Miranda might do a sequel after we the Encanto ride is built? I didn't know there was an Encanto ride. Terra, Aqua, you both performed what are my thoughts on that? As long as it's good. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, oh. you failed to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. Whoa. But there is always next time. That is all. Oh. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness. Where did it come from? We would know if it wasn't you because of how many followers you have. I mean, most people can what usually tell. So that's why it's normally like, oh, I find out, I do my best to report them and stuff, but Somebody's I'm not too worried because most people don't actually think it's me. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. There's darkness within you. So what does that matter? I know I'm strong enough to hold it back. Yes. You are indeed strong. The darkness is nothing to fear. Master Xehanort. And yet, how frustrating that Ericus refutes its power. Why, you could train with him forever, and still, you would never be a master in his eye. And this is a great voice and all. Because it's Leonard Nimoy, but I wouldn't have picked that voice to go with that face, though. I don't know why. I don't know why. I wouldn't have put those two together. But it's a great voice, though. It can only be channeled. Yes. Thank you, Master. What happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? I don't know. Well, then. Maybe he's picking up a pizza. I will send my pupils to investigate. You can't find the fake Brian? Good! <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. Understand. Farewell. That was my dear old friend Yen Sid. Yay! As you know, he is master no more. But he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. Hmm. All the more oh, them they got a hats off? What? How would you like, Kay the Creates? The princesses of heart are in danger. Ooh, the princesses of heart. Forces of darkness, Cowboy hat, you got it. Also from a new threat. One that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the unversed. Unversed? So it's not a heartless? As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Zaynus, <laughs> but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. Huh. I doubt there is any connection, and yet this all troubles me. Master Zaynus? Is gone. So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Okay. Eliminate the unversed and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. You may use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. Darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Lastly, 
Remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go and fulfill your duty. Yes, Master. Terra, consider this an opportunity. A second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know. I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. But how can I? When you are so obsessed with power. See, that's that's wise. That's very wise. Terra. You mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power. An obsession beckons the darkness. You must never forget. Thank you, Master. I swear, I will not fail you again. Tara! It's okay. Oh, hey, just want to know you inspired me to start doing impressions two years ago. Now you've auditioned for several roles and come far. Oh, well, glad to hear that, uh, Corny John Gamer. Whoa. Well, I got like all armor, dude. Well, look at that. I look kind of like a jackal, you know? A little ears like a jackal, dude. I don't know. Maybe it's because I watched a lot of uh, Moon Knight lately. That's what I thought of. Whoa. Call it a little spaceship, dude. Is that what I have instead of a gummy ship? What are my thoughts on the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel? Way too expensive. Forced to delinquent. Yeah. I haven't done it myself, and it's too expensive for me to want to try right now. And I've heard what people have done in it, and I'm like, it doesn't sound worth the money to me. But. It could be to somebody else, but for me, I'm like, I don't want to spend all that money. That doesn't sound like it's worth that much to me. But, you know, that's it. While D-Linked, you can use the others, uh, the other character's commands. Uh, oh, okay. Press the that D-pad button to open your list of D-Links. This D-Link gauge will drain as long as you remain linked. When the gauge runs out, your link will be broken. D-Linking fully restores your HP. Refill the gauge by collecting these D-Link prizes. Defeating enemies while D-Link may cause them to drop special emblems. Collect the emblems to power up the D-Link. All right. Oh, you're very talented. By the way, nothing gets Adam Sandler but in Hotel Transylvania. You rocked. All right, thank you. For some reason, I was about to do Dracula, but my brain was like, no, do Jack Sparrow. And I'm like, that doesn't work. But I'm glad that you enjoyed Hotel Transylvania. Have I seen Doctor Strange 2 yet? No. Unlock the command board for the Land of Departure. That's a mood, Brian. Oh, the fact that I don't want to go because it's too much money. It's just, you know, I'm a Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars, but I'm not in love with Star Wars. I feel like the people who eat, sleep, and breathe Star Wars will find it worth six grand. But me, it's just like, oh, the movies are fun. I like them. It's going to sit there going, oh, no, that's not six grand. Maybe for like $300. <laughs> I do that. Oh, I got to press that to land. Okay. Oh, wait. We're going to Sleeping Beauty? I wouldn't have pictured that as the next world we'd go to. And we got a hydrate. Thank you. What I... What would you do if I won the lottery? Would you go? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Right now, it just doesn't sound fun enough for me to want to spend that much money, even if I had a lot of extra to spend on it. Sleeping Be Beauty, Birth by Sleep. Ah, ha, ha. I didn't put that together till you said it. But I see what you did there. Oh. Monsters. The ones the master mentioned. 
These are the unversed. Unversed? Is that the same as a heartless? Is this like in the past and they don't know what heartlesses are yet? Okay. Yeah, no, out of all the Disney movies, I was not expecting Sleeping Beauty. Not that it's a bad movie or anything, it's just like, oh. Sleeping Beauty, if I was on the game development team, I probably wouldn't have gone to Sleeping Beauty first. Oh, big guy. You'll find out what they are soon. Yeah, so y'all don't gotta tell me. For anybody who's new to these, uh, I'm sure we got a couple of new people. Oh, we got a potion. Ah! I'm just thinking out loud because I want you guys to know my thought process, but I'm not expecting you guys to answer these. So you guys don't, you guys don't have to answer. I feel like all of this is happening before Kingdom Hearts. That's my guess, though. This feels like a prequel. Ow! Woo! That was cool. Okay. All right. Oh, there's one! There's one running away! I'm gonna get you. No, you don't. That is right. We're gonna get you. Wait, which way did it go? This way? This way! Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we got these again? Oh, it's a balloon sticker. Thought it was a puzzle piece again. Whee! Oh. I'm so used to using triangle. I gotta quit doing that. It's X now. There we go. Ah, Brian X, we just said this. Um, have you ever lost your voice, Brian? And would you ever get vocal surgery if Dr. Doctor told you you needed it? I would, if Dr. said I needed vocal surgery, I absolutely would. And have I ever lost my voice? Yes, um, but not for very long. It's always been minor. I do my best to take care of it and do a lot of vocal health training, so I have very few issues with that for now. But you know, anything can happen in the future, and even I've seen that over the years I may not have been as diligent as I've needed to be from time to time. So I acknowledge that. All right. It is the castle. Oh, Brian, I love the cameo you made. I'm going to send it to my mom. Oh, good. Enchanted Dominion. Nice. Okay. <gasps> Maleficent. Oh, okay. Now that I think about it, since Maleficent was such a big character, yeah, I guess I can kind of see why Sleeping Beauty is here. What's this? Why aren't you asleep, boy? That fool Slora cast a spell to put everyone in this castle into a deep, deep slumber. Who are you? Why, I am Maleficent, as all who dwell in this kingdom would know. Now you must reciprocate the introduction. Who are you? What has I'm been my terrible. favorite game so far? Kingdom Hearts 2. What do you know about those monsters? The ones who attacked me? Hmm. Now why would I give a thought to creatures so base, so inconsequential? <laughs> well, they are base. That's for sure. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking for someone. Ever heard of a man named Xehanort? That name is not familiar to me. Is he an outsider like yourself? 
Oh, but wait. I do remember someone leaving the castle. Tell me, what was he doing there? I couldn't say. I can only be certain he was not from this kingdom. Hmm. If you're curious, May not have been Zane or Go see the castle for yourself. But am I going to sleep? The entrance is past the bridge. Thanks. <laughs> Perhaps he did speak about imprisoning the light. The light could be so many things. Could he have meant Princess Aurora? Aurora. She's one of the she's one of the princesses of heart, right? I don't remember from the first game all of the Disney princesses that were there. I know it was Jasmine. I know it was Alice. Well, Alice isn't a princess. She was there. It was Kyrie, Alice, Jasmine, Snow White. I remember them for sure. Belle. Um, I don't remember if um, if Aurora was one of them. I think she was. She is a princess of heart. Okay, I thought she was. What are my thoughts on Paradise Pier given a Pixar makeover? I mean, if they're gonna stick with Pixar Pier instead of Paradise Pier, I mean, it makes sense thematically in that case. I guess it all just both. Oh, okay. Oh, oh! I like Critical Impact. Whoa! Oh! I like that a lot, and I want it back. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Brian has the power. Yes! All right. Aurora, Belle, Alice, Jasmine, Cinderella, Snow White, and Kyrie. Okay, so I got everybody but Cinderella. So that was that, that was not bad. That's not bad if I do say so myself. Critical impact style lets you deal a heck of a lot more damage. It's pretty powerful. Oh yeah, no, that was awesome. And I want it by it. Okay. I'll give him this. They did a really good job, like, converting the world of Sleepy Beauty into a 3D video game. Because it's, it's one of the tougher styles to do that with, because the whole point of the art style there was to look like a medieval painting with how geometric... Well, I guess, no, I guess it would actually come out pretty well, because the whole thing is it's very geometric. So, that would actually be a benefit to it in turning it into a CG world. Now that I think about it. Terra Smash! <laughs> I thought you were finishing the voice list. Yes, we've only got three voices, so we should totally finish it today. So long. Yeah. Yeah. Stand still and let me destroy you. Alright, let me finish these guys and then I will get started on the voices. Because we, we only got three, we can knock this out real quick. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're at that point of the game. Anytime I hit pause just to do something, it's like, here's all the things you should know. Okay. <laughs> all right. We have King Julian plus Mort. I don't know how we're going to do that. But we're going to figure it out. King Julian plus Mort. I guess this is what it's going to be. So, okay. That we would do. Did uh, did you see the Twitter uh, gif on Wednesday to make you feel better? I think I did. I do remember seeing some for uh, seeing some sent by you. Okay. Collect the crown stickers throughout each world. Then when you can arrange them in the sticker album in your reports to rack up points. So, Drac... No, there's, there's, there's a different accent in there, you know? Okay. 
Don't want to wait. What? Are there any more bad guys to fight in here? We must go to the castle! We got more of these! I'm gonna- I don't remember what they're called, so I'm just gonna call them, uh, Diet Heartless. More Diet Heartless! More diet heartless. Take that. No, it's X button. Why do you keep doing this to me? I don't mean to, but I do. I just, I just want to press triangle. This game has conditioned me to triangle, and then they took it away. Oh, what's that? The door is glowing! The door is glowing, King Julian! Diet Heartless, that's a good band name! <laughs> we are the Diet Heartless! Da, 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 da. Oh, there is an order. She is asleep, King Julian! This feels so familiar. Familiar? What are you, Prince Philip? Her heart is filled with light. Not the slightest touch of darkness. Just the kind of heart I need. For what? Imagine with me the most glorious of futures. Seven of the purest hearts, each overflowing with light. When brought together, they grant the power to rule all the world. What do you mean? Why, that key you hold. The Keyblade, is it called? Where did you learn that name? That trinket is the only way to obtain the hearts. No more games! Where is Master Xehanort? Oh, it she knows! You nowhere, child. If you wish to learn more, you must retrieve the heart of Aurora. She does not have it? And why would I ever want to do that? It's not a matter of why, but of will. In your heart, there is darkness just waiting to be awakened. I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps not yet. But I have power over sleep. And I can awaken what's inside you. Then you will be free to be who you truly are. I have always wanted to be a mime. Is that what I'm going to be? You're going to Behind unlock me to be what I truly am. Lurks in every heart. Be a mime. Darkness, Darkness is our foe. Would that we could be rid of it. You must destroy it. Push the darkness down. Give it no quarter in your heart. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Dun dun dun! Oh, his eyes were all like creepy looking. Don't you see that? Oh, this is still doing that. Oh, it, it just. I hope nobody here has epilepsy. That might trigger them. I don't know. I don't have it. But I don't know. It might have triggered somebody else. You got those creepy eyes. I know, right? Alright, next one is Mickey plus Dracula. Oh boy, I have a feeling this one is basically going to sound like two fish merch, or it's going to sound like Mort. And will be true. What? How did I? Uh oh. What did I do? You took away her heart! Uh -huh. You speak as if I pulled some invisible strings. Because you did! You couldn't be further from the truth, child. 
I simply whispered to the darkness you already held inside. Uh huh, sure you did. How could I do this? Vin! Vin? What? What? Where? Where'd he come from? Now, you want to know where Xehanort went? Well, that I cannot answer. Uh oh! He disappeared into the darkness. What did he. But you know darkness, where did he go? Is necessary to gather hearts. Uh oh. I'm not Join I'm not getting hearts for you. Collect six more hearts of pure light. Then we will rule all the worlds together. Terra we're not doing that, you know that. I'm a peacekeeper, not a tyrant. That's right! Look at that! That's my boy! For a peacekeeper, you're off to an exceptionally poor start. Remember this. The darkness in your heart cannot be held back by force or strength. Now, oh. my work here is done, as is yours. Wasn't there someone you needed to chase? Wait! Unburst. They're gonna bring down the castle. The Diet Heartless! We've got to stop the Diet Heartless! Forge the D-Link with Maleficent, of course we did. Whoops. Why is it <clears throat> Oh interesting? I don't have much money right now, so let's not for right now. And uh we'll uh we'll keep doing things. D-Links are like summons. So I can summon Maleficent? That's kind of weird. Alright, let's save here. Yes. Okay, and save. Alright. And command styles are like the drive forms. Okay. I think I'm starting to get it. Ah. When will my life begin? Wait, wrong movie. Okay. Get that chest. We got sleep. I don't know what that is. Well, <laughs> I know what sleep is. I just don't know what sleep is in this game. Made it sound like I don't sleep. I sleep. Uh, a recipe list that reveals what you will create if your melding combination will result in a basic attack command. Okay. That sounded like gobbledygook. But I'm sure it'll make sense eventually. Alright, um, I think we gotta go this way. Yeah? Oh, wait, no, that's literally where we came from. Yeah, okay, hang on, let me... I see that there is a... Hang on. We're going to take a quick break from the game and from the voice for a second because my nerdness is coming out for a second. All right, we're doing that for a second because I see there is a there is a discrepancy in the comments and I'm going to be a nerd for a second and just totally nerd out here for a second. So there is some discrepancy whether or not Mulan is a Disney princess or not or stuff like that. So here's the dealio, Fidelio. Depends on how you look at it. If you're going by the official Disney franchise of princesses, which was created in the early 2000s, mainly to sell uh, more dolls. Yes, she is. She was uh, put in there based on the criteria. You can be admitted if, as a Disney princess if you are not uh, royalty, if you do a big heroic act. She saved China. She fits. Um, but there are also some other rules. Uh, you must be a character. Uh, you must be a, a princess. You must be a female character who debuts in an, a Disney feature animated film. You can't be one that was introduced in the sequels and you must be human and you must meet the box office numbers that they deem necessary. Otherwise, Kida from Treasure Planet, uh, Atlantis would be in there. 
Onala from the Lion King would be in there. Anna and Elsa technically aren't even in this group yet. And the only reason that they're not in there yet is not because they're not true Disney princesses. It's because they're too profitable on their own right now. So that whole Disney franchise, the whole Disney princess franchise thing is literally just to sell dolls. So if you're going by that mindset, which is what Disney wants you to go by, yes, Mulan is a princess. But if you're just going by issue related to the royalty, no. So there you go. <laughs> So there it is. <laughs> Sorry, I know a little bit too much. You consider Elsa and Anna on the list? Oh, they'll be there. Once they quit making enough money on their own in merchandise sales, they'll get moved over. It'll happen. It'll happen. All right, so going back to the game. Sorry, that was a total tangent, but that's what it is. So... I know a lot of people really take the Disney franchise thing into heart like oh that's the official source if they're not here they're not a princess and if they are here they must be princesses and it's just like nope that's literally there just to sell toys but people want to believe that so I'm not going to tell them that they're wrong but at the same time if it's going by like they're from Disney and they're a princess some of them fit some of them don't so that's all it is. She did almost marry a prince in her second movie to save China. That is true. But once again, must be the original movie and not a sequel. Well, granted, she was in the first movie, so maybe that would have counted. I don't know. Probably not. Well, I mean, it could happen in a sequel as long as that sequel is uh, Disney feature animation made. And so far, there's only been like three of those. So all those direct to video sequels don't count, which is why Melody is not in there. Ariel's daughter. Or uh, there's probably some more. I just can't think of them right now. Welcome to the whole stream where we ran about Disney princesses for 15 minutes. It was only like three. <laughs> Is that why you worked at a Disney store? I did learn some of that at the Disney store. <laughs> I never knew it was a merch thing. I always assumed the heroic thing. Oh, that is true. That's how they made it work. Um, if you want more details on the, on the criteria of how you become a Disney princess, um, Super Carlin Brothers have made some videos that really do a good job of explaining it. And yeah, those are basically the rules. The money one is not a true rule. Like, if you go to Disney and like, what makes a princess? They don't put that one in there. That's the unwritten rule. Because they're assuming if they didn't make enough money, you're not going to ask about them. Like, where's Princess Alonwi? Who? <laughs> but no, she's totally a Disney princess. Okay, we're back to Dracula plus Mickey. Always learning something new, thank you. Yes. So yes, that's that's totally a thing. And it's also totally not a thing. It really just depends on your uh your your viewpoint on whether you consider the big princess lineup as legit or not. I'm kinda iffy on it. Cause I know it's there primarily just to sell toys. Because they realized, hey, we can sell a lot more Aerial dolls if we put Aurora with them. Or we can sell more Aurora dolls if we put Snow White with her. Okay, so we got that voice. Wait, what was that? <laughs> nice. Brian hears people talk about Disney princesses. Hold my the croy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, one voice left, you guys. One voice left. We have gone. No! I had one voice left. All right. All right. Well, go get Johan now. <laughs> okay. But that'll have to wait. Yep, I'll go get Johan. Johan, you're up, bud. Oh, is it time for Johan again? All right. Hello to everyone. It is time for Johan, yeah? Oh, boy. I'm excited. You had no idea that was an alert, yeah? Yeah, you can now redeem Johan, yeah? That is a new thing that got added, I think it was last week? Late last week, yeah? Okay, you have 10 minutes with Johan now, yeah? Okay, the last voice after the break. That'll be a momentous thing because I see, I see the notes from Brian, yeah? 
And since he started this list, he has actually been numbering them all. From the, I don't know how long this goes back, but the first one was Fred Fred Patrick. And he's been numbering them all. That would be voice 120. Since we've had like a true stop. So, that will be a momentous day. Or a momentous... Well, the day is a momentous day. It will be a momentous when he does it, yeah? Okay, let's get this diet heartless. Okay, so let's keep going, yeah? Oh, you want Johan to change his hat? You don't like the Johan hat? That is fine. What hat would you like? Mountain Dew Cowboy? What hat would you want Johan to wear, yeah? Brian and Johan use the Aqua D-Link a lot and leveled it up. It will save you a lot later. Oh, how do we use... Ah! How do we use the D-Link, yeah? Wait, oh, we do that. Yeah, okay. Aqua. Wait, where, where's, where's the aqua, yeah? Oh, the cowboy hat. Hang on. Wow, I thought he was not good with numbers, Johan. Oh, oh, wait, my hat. <laughs> Who was not good with numbers? But why am I okay with that? Oh, okay, that is not good. Oh, wait. I went up in hills. That is good. Oh, that is not good. Can I cure? Oh, yes, I can. Yeah? Oh. You're looking good in the cowboy hat, Johan. Yeah. I think I look pretty good in it. I never would have tried it if not for Brian, yeah? Because, you know, he has the hat because he comes from the Texas, yeah? I need to use Aqua's commands. I see it, the blizzard and the fire and the Gather. and the cure. Oh, is that what I needed to do? Oh, in combat. So it's not like a summon. Like I have to just use her commands. Take out the unversed, the diet heartless. Oh, it is the spinning wheel, yeah? The spinning wheel is a diet heartless. Ow. Ow. I am pressing the X button, yeah? Oh, it did good. I did good, yeah? And dodge out the way. Oh, I almost did good there. Ow. Yeah, here we go, yeah? With D-Links, you can use a command deck that the character would use, and the D-Links randomly level up by fighting the enemy. <gasps> I have the critical impact, yeah? Oh, we are going to kick its butt, yeah? Oh, maybe not. I'm going to die, yeah? Wait, how do I heal? Can I not heal? I could just do it a second ago. Ah! Is that because I had the aqua? So how do I get more health? I don't have my normal heal thing. Okay. I have to be linked to Aqua, but I lost all my D-Link, so I'm not going to fight these guys this time. Terra's not one for magic. I mean, Brian and I are not either, so I get it. But at the same time, we want the heal one. 
That's like the only magic one we need. You can keep all of your fire and your blizzard and your lightning. Just give us the cure, yeah? Target the real part first? You can target the different part? Oh, you can! Oh, I lost. Ow. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. It's a D-Link, yeah? It's an Aqua, yeah? No, it's an Aqua! Okay. Okay. No! Ow. Sandra did nothing. That was my bad. Don't worry, I have a list somewhere of very useful commands you want to have. Okay. Oh. No, I need secure, yeah? Secure! No, the cure was almost done! Oh! Oh, the cure was almost ready to use again. Oh. Okay. We shall try again, yeah. This is going to be an interesting game, yeah? D-linking in general heals you. Okay. All right. Let's try again, yeah? Brian may have to come in and do this better, yeah? Oh, thank you, Namrek, for resubbing. We have the critical impact, yeah? Oh, look at that, yeah? We are kicking butt and taking names, yeah? And we did it again! Oh! Uh-oh, okay. We need to get Aqua. Oh, no! I pressed the button! Oh, Johan was so close and he pressed the button, but Johan was just not fast enough. Oh, for boss fights, you can just hit retry, so you don't have to go back and forth. Oh. Oh. I was doing good too, yeah? Okay, we would, we would do it again. We have plan. We were so close, yeah? But now I know. I did not know how to get the, the critical impact command so fast, but now I know. I used the triangle buttons many times. Like that! And now we have it and we kick the bot, yeah? Where is he? Oh, there he is. And I will strike him! Now strike him! Strike him! There we go. Uh oh. Okay. Johan will have to go get the Brian. Alright, alright, alright. 
Here we go. We can do it, you guys. We can do it. 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 Oh, we got this, y'all. We got it. Okay, so there's just some new stuff I've got to learn. But we can get this. This game plays so well on the new systems, you can't even tell it's a PSP game. It's oh, it was? I assumed it was like PS3 or something. It was because I was weak. Stand up against the darkness. I saw the movie quote. I just want to see this cutscene first, Why and then we'll do it. Master say in order to imprison the light. Bum, the bum, bum. Do they hold the answer? <laughs> Seven pure hearts, each completely void of darkness. Such a search may take some time. Yeah, this has to be a prequel. This has to be Fairy Stars. A keyblade that provides a balance boost in strength and magic. Huh. Interesting. Probably not very good for Terra, but good for maybe like Aqua. I saw now Aqua uses a lot of the a lot of the magic stuff. In fact, all of hers is magic. Oh, is that Snow White? Oh, that's Snow White! Okay. Cinderella. Oh, and Cinderella. Oh, are we going to all the princesses of heart? Ah, interesting. Interesting. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead and do a poll. Where are we going, you guys? Where are we going? And we'll do the movie quote here in just a second. Let me start this poll, and I can do the quote by y'all vote. Are we going to Cinderella, or are we going to Snow White? And y'all tell me, where are we going? Before you start the voice, here's a King Julian quote. Maurice, that's right. You can't run around like a footless chicken. Headless chicken, your majesty. Uh, no. How's the chicken supposed to run around without a head? How's it supposed to run around without feet? I'm not the chicken, Maurice! Stop asking me all these questions! Oh, I hate it when mommy and daddy fight! <laughs> I know you didn't ask for that last one, but that was the next quote in the show. And I'm really surprised that that didn't make it in that TikTok quote. <laughs> Oh, I hate it when mommy and daddy fight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, Snow White is winning. Wow. I honestly thought Cinderella was going to win. But, you know. Okay, you guys. Okay. Okay. We need, to say, we need to take a second, you guys. We need to take a second. This is a momentous moment. We've been working on this list for, like, what? Almost a month? Maybe longer. And granted, yeah, I've gotten sick a few times, so I haven't been able to do the voices. And there was a few streams where I just straight up forgot to do them. But today's a momentous day, you guys. It is. It is very momentous. <laughs> and Kayla has sunny game action. No donating bits. <laughs> so for the next five minutes, no donating bits so when we start the last voice i will start that did we really get to the final voice yes yes we did i know you can't really see it but the last voice is hagrid plus thor and then with that our list could be over this is a momentous moment this is a momentous moment and with that we shall start the voice so Hagrid and Thor, I think it sounds something like this. It's the best I could come up with. And yes, Snow White totally won, like in a landslide. Like, it's quite impressive how, how much it won. All right, here we go to Snow White. With Thor plus Hagrid. Spirit of the mirror. Come from It's the magic stars. mirror on the wall. Come on. Through wind and darkness, I And there we go! What wouldst thou know, my queen? That 
magic mirror on the wall. Who is there it is. One of all? Famed is thy beauty, Majesty, but hold a lovely maid I see. Alas, she is more fair than thee. Oh. Alas for her. Reveal her. Oh. <laughs> When I watch the animated movie, it always sounds like she says a lash for her, like she's gonna whip her or something. I like a lash better. <laughs> you could be a dwarf with this voice. I know. Give me my axe. I'm ready to go take down Sauron. <laughs> a mirror that knows and sees everything. How about that? That's right. What if Master Xehanort is here? Maybe. You never know. My name is Terra. I'm looking for a man named Xehanort. Master Xehanort. I thought maybe you might have seen him. That name is of no consequence to me. This all makes sense now that I've watched the other games played. Yep. Yeah. I bet it does. I have a task for you. If you succeed, I will ask the mirror where you might find this master there. Does the mirror actually the mirror know? Will know? Do you dare to question me? I don't even know who you are. Well, I, mean, I know who you are, but what is I, the task? you know, Terra doesn't know. <laughs> there is a young maid who resides in this castle. That's no one. Her name is Snow White. Called it. <laughs> And to make sure you do not fail, bring back her heart in this. So that if he's being the huntsman in this version, where's the actual huntsman? Her heart. I don't understand. You're after the hearts of light too? What I demand is her life. I've had more than enough of her light. <laughs> I'm sure she has. What did this maiden do to you? That is no concern of yours. Now. Wow, nice call, Brian. I know! I'm so My smart. Radiance is all the light this kingdom needs. <laughs> Nobody would have guessed that, right? <laughs> Outside the castle, there is a glade of wildflowers. You are dismissed. Go now and seek her there. Brian is a smart boy. I know! <laughs> I shouldn't have told you that. My best chance right now. Maybe she will lead me closer to Master Xehanort. She probably doesn't know, but I don't know. Maybe in this version she does. I... In the movie, nope, she wouldn't know nothing. No, I won't let that happen. Ooh. Dwarf Woodlands. That was a good name for it. That was a good name for it. Oh, so we're still in here. I can run around. I can step on your robe. Stepping on your robe. You can't move now. I'm stepping on your robe. <laughs> oh, I keep wanting to use the triangle button. Why are you still here? Go swiftly and bring me Snow White Heart. Just imagine that voice coming out of her. <laughs> Why are you still here? I demand you go to go to the store and get me more gaudy makeup so that I can look like a clown even more. All right, we're gonna save. We did it, you guys. We did it. We did it, you guys. The list is done! We did it! We did it! I wish I had like sound effects hooked up so I could do like a like a big thing. A big thing. I know there's a similar music. If somebody wants to redeem a hydrate, we can get that music going. Does someone want to redeem a hydrate? <laughs> you guys don't have to or anything. But that would be fun. 
<gasps> Yay! Kayla, thank you! Woo! Yay! All right. We did it, you guys. We did it. No more list. It's over. Here's the sound for your victory. Victory! <laughs> and a hats off, Polka Fan Kathleen. Uh, yeah, Polka, Polka Fan Kathleen. What hat would you like? Brian has earned an achievement. Voice Master, complete the list. Yes. Hydrates out of stock. Oh yeah, I had to put a ba I had to put a soft uh, ban on it. I was like, how many can be redeemed at once? Because people were doing like thirteen at a time. Whoa! I'm not touching. I wasn't touching the remote. You, the 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 controller, to you guys, and it just moved. Just a little bit. Oh, you want the sorcerer hat? Okay. Sorcerer Mickey hat. We got a drift, folks. But I don't think that was the controller. I think the that the evil queen like bumped the camera because it only moved for like a second, and it was when she was right there. Wait, thirteen at a time? I know. I'm sitting there going like. <laughs> And I drink like an entire LaCroix in like two seconds. It was not good. <laughs> Speaking of which, I've been extra thirsty lately. Well, it's good to be getting a lot of water, am I right? All right. There's some AI. I believe that. Okay, so let's go. We got to go find Snow White. And we're not going to kill her. Even though that's what the queen wants us to do. But we shan't. There's more Diet Heartless. How much is it to spin the wheel? Hang on. I don't remember. It is 1,000 to add a character, 2,500 to spin the wheel, and 3,000 to spin and add a character. Boosh! The more water you drink, the better. Oh, yeah, but don't drink too much or else your body will be more than 90% water at 30%. Oh, thank you for the stretch. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we got a posture check. Thank you. No, um, I won't do that. I've done research because, like, I tell you guys all the time how much I focus on my, men on my not mental health, although I do focus on my mental health, my uh, vocal health. One of the things is, like, yeah, you're just supposed to be constantly drinking water. But yeah, I've heard about how you can absolutely drink too much water and like overlog yourself. You totally can do that. And it is possible to like seriously get hurt. Oh, the chest isn't real. Oh, the chest isn't real. I was a spider and in the chest. Oh, thanks, so. Oh, thanks, so. But uh, yeah, no, I, I know you can totally do that. Uh, but I've, I've talked to doctors and stuff and all of them have just said, oh yeah, it's, you know, Oh, okay. They're like, yeah, just drink whenever you're like legitimately thirsty and, you know, never deprive yourself of water and you'll be fine. Just if you get to a point where you just can't stomach anymore and you don't stop. <laughs> so, yeah, just they always say just drink when you're thirsty. Do you know the evil queen's name, Brian? I thought that was her name. Like I used to sell her doll at the Disney store. And her name would be Evil Queen on the box. Like, uh, and then in, uh, for like the prince in this movie too, like in all the boxes, he's just called the prince. He doesn't have a name. He's just the prince. And then the prince from Cinderella is Prince Charming. And then the rest of the princes have a name. There was a lady who drank gallons of water and killed her because she did it because she wanted to win an Xbox. Yeah, no, so don't, don't do that. 
when you're when you're thirsty, you drink, and then um, if you're not thirsty, you then don't drink. Because everyone will tell you like you have to drink a certain amount every day and stuff, and every doctor I've talked to has been like, yeah, no, don't reach a certain threshold because you think you're supposed to. Well, the rest of them gave me stuff. Why that would blow up? Balloon letter. Yeah, every doctor I said is like, you don't have to re meet whatever requirement somebody tells you to. Is when you need it, your body will tell you, and then drink water. And right now, my body just needs extra water right now. I don't know why, but yeah. I'll do my best to stay hydrated though. And um, I haven't been doing a good job of this lately, but usually I try to make sure that I'm drinking more water than anything else. But yeah, lately it's been, I've had a few more sodas than I should have had. So I'm gonna try to get back on the water train. Like mostly water with some, with some fun drinks here and there. All right, where am I going? Do I need to go down one of these? Do I... Oh, my point was mind your health. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I do my best to do that. Both my mental health and my physical health, I try to take good care of myself. Well, okay, my eating could be doing better. <laughs> but, you know. One thing at a time, right? Um, okay, where are we going? Jump onto bubbles? I can jump onto bubbles? Oh! Oh! I see. Okay, so when it's red, we don't hit it. Green gives me HP. And then the uh, purple... Oh, the purple gives me that. Cool. That's another fake one! That's but a chest! There we go. Kaiba hasn't come on and extended the list? No, Kaiba hasn't. And I know the last couple times he's come on, he said he wasn't going to do it. I don't know if that meant like he's never going to go nuts like that again, or if just that stream he wasn't going to. Uh, maybe you could, Maybe you got dehydrated with the sickness you got on Wednesday. Uh, possibly. I've been trying to drink a lot of water since then, but, you know, I, yeah, I absolutely could have, and his body's still trying to recover. Because I remember when I was sick and I had that fever, I was trying to drink lots of water because my body was just like, you need water. So I'm like, okay. So I drank lots of it, and I've been trying to drink a lot since. Like, both the, the water bottle you saw me do earlier, the white one, or the clear one, I should say. This one all had... Oh, it still has some more. I thought it was empty. That's just good old water. And this whole thing is full of water, too. Okay. Um, besides any Disney characters, what cartoon girls did you have a crush on? Back in the day when I was younger, I did have a thing for Misty from Pokemon. Uh, not anymore, though, because, yeah, she's a kid. That's weird now. But when I was a kid, I totally had a thing for her. Um, so, yeah. Yeah! Uh-oh. I accidentally had it to blow up! Did it hurt them? Oh, it did hurt! It hurt the Diet Heartlesses! Ow. Oh, okay, Keyblade Wielder, thank you. Uh, so, so with that amount, you can add a character to the wheel, but our wheel is full, so I can add you to the list of voices that will be added as the wheel gets spun, which hasn't happened in a while, but I can totally add a voice to it. So what would you like? And the list is back. No, that's, uh, that's enough to add a character, but not to spin the wheel. So, there we go. So, would you like to add a voice, Keyblade Wielder Sarah? It's gonna, the list is getting rather long, and nobody's spun in a while. <laughs> Nobody has spun since the, since the crazy spin of whenever that was. She donated 20. Oh! Oh, she did! I'm sorry! 
I'm sorry. That is. Okay, I apologize. I thought it just added them all up for me. No, okay, I see it now. Yes, yes, we have a spin. That was my bad. I'm sorry. We have a spin. Hang on. Okay. We have a spin. I apologize. I did not do the math right. My bad. Wheel of morality. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lessons that we should learn. And it's... Little John plus Gobber. Little John plus Gobber has made it onto the wheel. Hang on. There we go. How long has it been since we spun? Okay. Um, I'm surprised this is coming off. <laughs> I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget it. Little John. Gubber. Okay. All right. And our next voice is Tom Riddle plus Mad Eye Louie. All right. Cool. So we've got Little John plus Gubber. That'll be interesting. Last time you spun is when you filled it up. I know it. I don't remember when that was. <laughs> Little John is from Robin Hood. Yes. So it, and it's Baloo's voice, basically, because it's Neil, not Neil. It's uh, Phil Harris for both, and he doesn't change his voice. Around a month ago, that's probably it. All right. So Little John and Gobber now. So that's basically what's going to be a very laid-back Scottishman. Laid-back Scotsman. That's what it's going to be, huh? Hey, watch out, Ron. That's the only hat I've got. Wait, is there more this way? I didn't look. I kind of just went this way, grabbed the chest, and went on. Oh, yeah, there's nothing over there to tell. All right. So let's just keep going then, yeah? Hey, up. Oh. This voice reminds me of Hiccup's dad, but calmer. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good explanation. A little bit higher pitched, but you know, I still good. I can use a little bit more HP. That's oh, they totally did that. You remember this uh, this skeleton from the movie? That was a nice little detail they put it in, right next to the staircase too. That was. That's that's good attention to detail right there. I love it, yeah. Or a Zen Jack Sparrow, yeah. I, I could see that too. You know, just Jack Sparrow doesn't have the Scottish accent, but I get what you mean. Like, you know, it's in the same vibe, right? Yeah. Because there, there, there are some similarities with the tone, yeah? There's a... Okay, all right, we're going, we're going, we're going. All right. Oh, oh, there's a thing back here. It's like a mix of Scottish and Surfer. I know, right? You know, I'm kind of digging this voice, you know? Yeah. You know, if there was ever a Scottish Surfer, this would probably be what he sound like, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving this. I didn't realize how much I'd love this one. I don't remember who put this voice in. I want to say it was Aqua, Aqua Larxine, but that's a good one. I could do this voice for a while there, yeah? Oh, no. I'm probably not going to make that one. I don't even know what it is. A scarfer. It's a scarfer! Oh, interesting. Oh, there we go. All right. All 
right, where is the... Aha, get it, yeah. Yeah, that's right, we got him. All right. Now what's over here? All right, this is a pretty big lair. Isn't this all this below the castle and nobody knows it's here? Man, I, I, I feel like somebody would notice this by now. Maybe. Now, open the chest, come on. There you go, block recipe, huh? Do I go down here? I'm trying to see what I can do here, Lance. Guess we gotta go down here, right? Um, was I supposed to do that? Something tells me I wasn't supposed to do that. When you did this world, it was hard for you to navigate. Uh, I'm starting to see why. Oh wait, no, there's there's pots. I don't think I've been here yet. I think that's where I was earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's. Yeah. Okay. I I did the right thing. All right. Oh, the wishing well. I'm wishing for the one I love to find me. Today, we'll do. Oh, we, we've already got a quick blitz. Wait, no, I've already got. Oh, I already have that, don't I? Oh, I need a cure. Yes, yes. Give me cure. All right. So I definitely need cure. Command Dex, let's edit deck, right? And we're going to add battle commands. Cure! Hallelujah! We have cure now, everybody! We're gonna survive! Okay, cool. I was scared for a second that I couldn't add it ever because he just doesn't use mag magic much, and I'm like, no! Actually, buy more than one cure. So, what happens if you buy more than one? Is it to make it stronger? Is it like up the level? I'm just not sure what buying more than one does. Obviously it does something if you can do it. Melding commands. The level three ones are maxed out. So do I buy, so if I buy another cure, I do have enough to buy another one. Okay, I'll have seven money left. <laughs> All right, so then I do that and I go into command decks and then edit deck. Oh, you guys said meld commands. You can create a new command by melding to existing ones, the commands you need meld to. To reach a high enough level first, have a synthesis item while melding. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, um, let's do cure, cure, cure. Have you been melding commands? If you combine two max out cures, you get Cura. It won't let me and I'm pressing the button. I think I gotta level them up, don't I? I'm a poor man now. Oh no. <laughs> Having more than one cure is good for later fights. Oh, I see what you mean. So I, I can do, I can go into my deck and have like two cures in here. All right, oh, I see, I see how it's important. Well, I can I don't want to get rid of these guys just yet. So I think I'm going to wait till I can open up a new cure spot. So we're going to do one for right now and try to level that up. You just level it up by using it, right? That's what I'd assume. Before melding, you have to max the commands out first. And hey. A soothing crystal. <gasps> Lovely. So soothing. All right. Cure gets the final. Yes, you have to level them up. Okay. Ah, uh, we have a map! Lovely! Yes, you have to level them up. Alright, cool. And you level them up just by using them, I take it. I don't know how else you'd level it up. But then again, I don't know. I've seen crazier things. <gasps> Snow White! I wonder if that's her. Yeah, that's her. 
But you never watched a Disney movie in your life, dude? Come on! <laughs> you have to use them. Oh, I will be using... I will be using them. Oh. It's not like magic in the last game. Who are you? Aren't you oh. Still? That voice is perfect. I know that can't be the original actress. So that's a perfect sound alike. That was amazing. That's perfect, y'all! Mm. That's so Our good. Pure light. She's the one. Is something the matter? Does the name... That is a perfect sound alike, you guys. To you? Why, why, no. I don't think I've ever heard that name. Now what? <laughs> Unversed. To be fair, her OG voice actress has been long dead, I guess. Oh, hey, wait. <laughs> I'm sure there. she is. Out of my way. Well, maybe not long, but she I'm I'd be shocked if she was still alive. Okay, we got more diet heartless. More diet heartless. <laughs> but we are gonna cure just to keep leveling this up. Even though I don't really need cure right now. But I'm not gonna need it fighting diet heartless. Especially with my critical impact! I don't know what these guys maybe. Woo! Critical impact! Okay, so that definitely needs to be the new theme song for Critical Impact is uh, that. So anytime I get it now, it's just going to be Critical Impact! If I remember to do that every time. Ow, ow, ow. Stop it. Uh, Devin Rose, I think if you get an item called a pulsing crystal, you can add it to a command. Uh, command your mounting cure and cure to, to give you leaf bracer. You don't know what that means. Ow! Oh! I just made it! I had full health. What happened? I had like full health, and all of a sudden these guys showed up and. What? Should have backed up a little bit or something. You guys are saying I need to level up the Aqua one. Well, it makes sense. She's got good health already. She's got a good cure already. So we're gonna hold off on getting critical impact just yet because I don't really need it on these little diet heartless, but I need it on the big guys. There we go. Now I'm going to start using it. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Oh, stun edge. Sure. Critical impact! And Johan! <laughs> Her name was Adrena Co uh, this lady. Yes. All right. Yes, we will get Johan in. Oh, we leveled up cure. Yay. Okay. Yes, thank you for the posture check and the stretch. All right. Now let me go get Johan. Wait, is this hat over here? Oh, yeah, it is. Johan, I've got your hat. I know you're going to appreciate that. Yes, I do appreciate that. Yes. Oh, I love the hat. Okay. Hello, everyone. It is Johan. Yes. Okay, Johan's here to have some fun, yeah? Okay, we will play the game now. Ah, oh, I'm in the middle of a battle, yeah? Okay, we, we hit all the things. So long. Okay. Oh, Johan, Johan will do the, the, uh, the D-Link, yeah? And we do the Aqua, and we will do the Blizzard, and the Thunder, and the Cura, because we need to level up, yeah? Oh, we, we leveled up a little, yeah? That is good, yeah? Oh, oh no, this happened last time! I saw Brian do this, and they all showed up, and then he just died, yeah? Oh, that's not good, yeah? No, no, no! I can't heal yet! You can't hit me until we get this back! There 
gráfico. ¡No! 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 ¡Back away! ¡Back away! ¡And hide! ¡Se will not find us here! ¡Ha ha! Now, bring you on one at a time. Oh, I just take out all the little guys, yeah? That worked. Okay. Now one big guy at a time, yeah? Oh, that hurt. Ah! That hurt. Thunder, you. Let me do the blizzard. I don't know what that did. Okay. Now just one left. We got it now, yeah. <clears throat> okay. There we go, we got it now. Obtained air slide, yeah? Press square while jumping to dash to the air. The higher the command, the level, the faster you can dash. Oh! Your insect bites have you feeling like prickly in that one scene from Milo and Stitch. Oh, that is... She doesn't know anything about Master That's Ranger. not good for you. <laughs> that looks painful, yeah? Johan, I think Brian doesn't know this, but Aqua Dealing Max Out gives you auto life. If you die while using Aqua, you have... Oh! Yes, we want to... We want to level that up then, yeah? Oh, we've got this stretch. Thank you. I hope we will see... We'll be able to... Uh, See the seven dwarfs during Sarah's run, yeah? Yeah, I want to see them too. Wait, is this way where I need to go? Like that was through the courtyard. We don't that's where we came from, yeah? Remember ah there is the, the crown. We will get the crown, yeah? Yeah, we got a sticker. And there's a there's a chest. Heal. Ah no! I did not mean to do the hungry crystal, yeah? Carolyn Gardner voiced Snow White in this game? Well, she did very good. Oh, you want to return to the castle? I thought that Snow White went the other way. Maybe not. I don't know. Alright, um... We are supposed to go back to the castle? What are we supposed to do in the castle? Well, let's see first. Because that is just smart to do, yeah? Okay, we save. Burst by sleep, final mix, yeah? Okay. Alright. I am wishing for the one I love to find me today. Yay! <laughs> okay, so this, this is silly, yeah? Oh, I, I don't want to go this way. Yeah, it's back this way. I have to report back to the queen. Oh. I thought we didn't want to do what the queen says, yeah? I love you. Does that count? <laughs> That's very sweet, yeah? Okay. Um. Oh, Johan! Johan, look at this. Oh, there's nothing in them! Oh, the cheapskates, yeah? Johan, I use a fake Brian on Twitter? <gasps> no, the fake Brian is a mini. I do not do that. Oh, um, Johan does not do the movie quotes unless they are specifically made for him. So Brian can do it when he gets back, yeah? So when Brian comes back, he will do the, the movie quote, yeah? Um, how long is the timer? Oh, I did not set the timer, did I? Whoops. Johan forgot! How long has Johan been here? Does anyone have a rough idea? Because Johan knows it's supposed to be 10 minutes, but Johan... Johan wasn't thinking... Oh, another movie quote! Um... We need Brian back! Um, does anyone know? 
How long Johan has been here? Oh, the movie quote is for Johan? Oh, this is for Johan. Lord Farquaad. He hoped and he hoped and he signed an eviction notice. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. That was smart. <laughs> Love you even more, Johan. Oh, thank you. So long. Yeah. Okay, so Johan, Johan will say this. I don't know how long I've been here, so Johan will set a timer for two minutes, and once that timer's up, we'll say for done. Because I don't know how long Johan's been here, so that that seems fair. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You don't remember, but you trust to get Brian when the time is right. A minute and a half now, so let's 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 go with that, yeah? That that seems right to me. I'm sure somebody later on the VOD is going to like actually time it out to be like, ah, no, he was only there for like seven minutes, or no, he was there for like fifteen. I honestly don't know. What's up? Oh, we have more for the D link, yeah? Oh, apparently I'm supposed to be able to get over there at some point. What's well, not today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the mosquitoes love you. I know, I know. Oh, uh, Brian and I used to deal with the same thing, yeah. When 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 we were both younger, we've talked about this. When we were both younger, oh, every time we'd go outside, they'd be like waiting for us and go like, oh, there is Brian and Johan, yeah? Let's get him. It's like they, 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 they like had a magnet to us or something. Because we could go out with somebody else, we'd be wearing the bug spray and the other people would not. They would have no bug bites and we would have like three. And like we have the bug spray and we are with the people who do not get the bites. What happened? Apparently, there's some things that they love about us. But as we've got older, it's gotten better. How dare you return here, you blundering fool? What are you talking about? I ordered you to bring me Snow White's heart. I will let Brian deal with her crazy, so I'm going to get Brian. All right, I'm coming, Johan. Ah, uh, it really freaks him out, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, what do we got here? A request I chose to ignore. Ooh. You know, you claim to be radiant, but all I see are shadows of jealousy. Boom! Thick on your heart. Sorry, that was probably really loud. <laughs> you will pay for such insolence. Magic mirror on the wall. Consume this fool once and for all. Oh, we've already got a boss battle. I was expecting a little bit more to happen. Like, I don't know. See the, the dwarves? RIP headphone users. Sorry. That I cannot do. Woo! I have no power save answers true. No! You. No! 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 I don't know why I thought that was so funny. It's so immediately I get like an in-game ban for y'all and then a Johan. So it's like, okay, I guess Johan has to do that. Which he doesn't usually say, y'all, so that should be fine. <laughs> oh, I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it does. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. 
All right, no, I need to do this movie quote, and then I will go get, get him. Yeah. Stretch. <clears throat> you might have seen a house fly, maybe even a super fly, but I bet you ain't never seen a bunny fly. And then can I react to that drawing? Let me see. Ah, it's a cute little baby elephant. And this drawing. Ah, oh, Carl and Ellie. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It makes my heart cry. In good way. All right. Once again, Johan protects Brian. Always, Johan will protect Brian. Okay. Johan. No! I have to deal with the evil queen. Yeah. No! I don't want to deal with the queen. Well, you gotta. But I. But I. Fine. I have to deal with the queen. Hello, everyone. Uh, Johan will. Tips the queen. First, we are going to set the timer. I remember now. Set the timer. And also, Alexa, set timer for five minutes, yeah? Five minutes, starting now. Okay. We have the timer for the, the in, inward, in game, uh, the, the word I cannot say, yeah? Okay. Oh, I don't want to face the queen, yeah? You feel like Johan needs a hug? Yes, Johan needs a hug, yeah. Oh, what are the prices for the voices now? It is uh, 100, uh, no, sorry, uh, 1,000 to add character, 2,500 to spin the wheel, and 3,000 to spin and add a character. Okay, what is the in-game ban? Oh, no being mean to Johan after the, after the ban. Oh, thank you. For some reason, I glanced at the word that should not be said and thought that it was a ban on the word ya yeah, and I was like no So yes Big hug for Johan Oh thank you That is nice he loves it loves the hugs Loves the hugs Oh Oh you're contributing your hug for Johan ya yeah? Alright Dare defy your queen Johan does not like this. What? what? Johan got sent into the mirror? Oh no. Defeats the spirit of the magic me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh, Johan does not like this, yeah. Oh. Johan does not like this. That is the end. Hi. I am Johan. And I like warm hugs. I like them much more than fighting this thing. Only one is real? That's what I figured, but I'm trying to lock onto it. And it won't let me. It must be that one. But I can't reach it. There we go. Do the scenes. Do the scenes so we can get the critical impact, yeah? Oh, and we got the hydrate. Thank you. Oh, oh. Johan is very thirsty, yeah? Okay. Where is he? What? This is the house of Oh, Johan doesn't like this. Ah. Oh, Johan did something. Johan! Did he just say drat? Johan's over there just like, 
Quack, quack, he's like, ah, oh, drat. <laughs> Johan did it! He was not that scary. He was a little creepy, though. You have to admit. He was, he, he was a little scary. Would Edna make an exception with her no capes rule once she oh. discovers a way to make a material like sponge cape that can shape shift, camouflage, fly, or maybe? Maybe she might. Master Xehanort? Magic mirror, instruct this knave. Give him the answers he doth crave. Oh, you just going to give us the answers? Light and dark he dwells, where war was waged upon the fells. Okay. Is that all? Thanks. You've been a big help. Did he mean that seriously or sarcastically? I can't tell. I wish I could tell. The treasure trove a keyblade that makes up for its poor reach with a balanced boost in strength and magic, yeah? Oh! I hope this count is giving you a hug. Oh, Alexa! Stop the timer, please! Oh, that is a sweet... It is... Is that you and your hand giving a big hug? Oh, that is so sweet and very well drawn, yeah? It's very good. All right. Johan should... Oh, I can't do that here, yeah? Okay, I guess we are going to sit... Oh, what is this? The land of departure? What is this? Oh, wait. Oh, that is where I first came from, yeah? I remember now. Okay, Johan is all cut up. So what is this one? Mirage Arena, yeah? Hmm. Okay, we now go to the Cinderella one, yeah? Visit this world, yeah? Oh. I say just like I've never seen Cinderella. <laughs> oh, we are at this part. After she already had her dress ripped and everything. Will we see some mice? <laughs> I hope so. Is something wrong? Johan has been here for five minutes now. My friends made me the most I have the timer set now, yeah? But my stepmother and stepsisters ruined it. And I was so looking forward to the ball. Darkness always finds a way into a wounded heart. It does, yeah. You have to be strong. But Strength you can fight it. Will carry you through the hardest of trials. Oh, that is good, yeah. I need to remember that. Put it on a bumper sticker. Uh oh, it is the diet heartless, yeah. No, Arena does nothing story-wise. Oh, okay. That is fine. But the music, though, I know. The music is so good. Oh. Oh, these strings, they melt my heart. You guys don't know this, but Brian and I are big fans of the, of the uh, soundtracks. Oh, Johan and Brian would listen to the soundtracks all the time for the video games and for the movies and just, you know, orchestral music in general. Just, oh, it makes our hearts so happy. And this is just gorgeous, huh? In school, we would listen to musicals and film soundtracks all the time. While everyone else was listening to the top 100, we were listening to beautiful works of orchestral music, whether it be classical or film soundtracks or video games. If it was orchestral in nature, we loved it. And this is something we would have loved when we were younger. We still love now. But, oh... We love it. We love it. Oh, it's so beautiful, yeah? Oh, Johan's getting a bit emotional with this music, yeah? Oh, it's so good. I can't believe not anymore. Yes, you can. Your fairy godmother's about to come. Oh, I saw the sparkles. 
There's nothing left to believe. Put your lean hands to your heart and teach your single. Oh, now, you don't believe It's very nice music, yeah? Oh, but I do. It's just... <gasps> That's a very good, Mother! You will enjoy Terra's final boss theme then? Ooh! Oh, come now. Dry those tears. You can't go to the ball looking like that. The ball? Oh, Is that Rusi Taylor doing the voice of, of the fairy godmother? You are, but we'll have to hurry. Oh, that has now, to be. What were those magic words? Oh, R.I.P. Oh, yes. Rusi Taylor, you were amazing, yeah? Yes, entertainment fan, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> but you know the original voice actress for the film? Uh, Werner Felton? She usually played villains all the time, doing the Queen of Hearts and um, the the uh, the ma the big bossy elephant from Dumbo and a few other characters. She was usually the big tough, usually the villain. But everyone said that the fairy godmother that she played, that was her in real life. She didn't act there, and I'm like, that is beautiful. Okay, I will go get Brian. We are pausing the cutscene because he needs to see this. All right. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Why? It's what a dream come true. What have you got? Yeah, but 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 oh, thank you for the hydrate. Stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it was before. Yes, I understand. Oh, scratch what I said about Mirage Arena not being important. You need a very important item in it for the true final boss. Okay. Good to know. Verna also played Pearl Slag Slag Hoople in the Flintstones. Oh, I didn't know that. I know she also did uh, Winifred from the Jungle Book, and uh, Aunt uh, Aunt Sarah from Lady and the Tramp. Castle of Dreams. Oh, how lovely! Uh -huh. Castle of Dreams. Wow. Why didn't I see it? She's a princess of heart, dude. I can hardly tell she's the same person. Who are you? Tara. Tara, in your heart, do you believe that dreams can come true? Yes, I, I do. do. But I also believe you have to make an effort to make them come true. Yes, yeah. of course. But sometimes just believing in dreams is easier said than done. That's true, too. Cinderella believes her dreams can come true. I wanted her to see that she is right. Yeah. So that's what made her shine. Faith in her heart that anything is possible. Where did she go? <laughs> That's kind of beautiful. Oh, Mac the Disney fan, thank you. Oh, you see her dancing. You know that she believes, and that will help you to believe too. What voice would you like to add to our backup list? Uh, Lester from Scooby Doo and the Alien Invaders, okay? When you said Lester at first, I was thinking Lester's Possum Park. <laughs> I've never actually seen that one, but I will go look that up and the Alien Invaders. Tara and, <laughs> Tara and Tiana would get along. Oh yeah, they definitely would. Oh, there's like nothing over here anymore. To the castle! Here's a game for you to play while playing this. Find Haley Joel Osment. Oh, he's in this? Or show up at some point. I assume this all took place in the future, but maybe it doesn't. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. More diet heartless. More diet heartless. Blah, blah, blah. From the Goofy movie, yeah. Lester's Possum Park. Because now that I think about it, that's the only Lester that I know from like any media. I can't think of another Lester. Booyah! 
Or if I do know another lesser, I can't think of it right now. And... Skadoosh! Ooh, a map to help you navigate the Castle of Dreams. Lovely! I see a chest over here. I saw one. It's like on the other side. Of ah, yep, there it is. I knew I saw one. That's your... That'll be your Easter egg to find. Ew. Pretty impressive, isn't he? Have you guys... Do you guys know what that's from? Please tell me someone knows what that's from. I quote that way more than I probably should. And I want to know that there's at least someone out there who knows that quote. Ooh, pretty impressive, isn't he? Please tell me somebody knows what that's from. I'll tell you guys what it's from, but I want to see if someone can guess it first. He doesn't play Sora in the main part of the game. Does anyone know what that's from, though? I'll do it one more time. Ooh, pretty impressive, isn't he? I quote that all the time. And I want somebody to know what that is. Can we get a hint? Um, it's from a Disney Channel show. Say it again. Ooh, pretty impressive, isn't he? Like, this character would say it all the time. Granted, this character wasn't in the show, like, all the time. He would only show up for a little bit, but every time he did, he'd say it, like, 12 times. Ooh, pretty impressive, isn't he? Timon and Pumbaa! Yes! Yes! Kayla, you got it! Yeah, there was an episode of Timon and Pumbaa where the three hyenas were trying to be on this nature wildlife show. And the host of it, anytime he was trying to film this armadillo, and every time the armadillo did something that he liked, he'd go, Ooh! Pretty impressive, isn't he? And he did it like eight times in that episode. Yes! You got it too, Devin! Timon and Pumba! The Timon and Pumba show. You remember that? Yes! That, that line has just stuck in my brain like there's no tomorrow. I, don't, I wouldn't even remember him saying that. It's just the way he said it was so bizarre that I just had to remember it. Ooh! Pretty impressive, isn't he? <laughs> If you guys got a second, it's on Disney Plus now. If y'all want to go see that episode, it's one of the first ones, I think. It was one of the episodes all about just the three hyenas. It's so good. I think it's like Kingdom of the Creatures. I think it's what the show was called. And it has like Jim Cummings being like the camera guy. Kingdom of the Creatures, take two action. Ooh, pretty impressive, isn't he? Oh, man. That's such a throwback. I know, but it's like stuck in my brain. Do you guys have stuff like that? That it's like, it's a total throwback. And most people will never remember it. But to you, it's an iconic quote. To me, that's that's that quote. <clears throat> you started watching The Lion Guard a couple days ago. It's pretty good for a Disney Junior show. I know, right? Why is it that good for a Disney? Like... Usually Disney Junior shows, I get like, oh, okay, this is definitely not aimed at me. I'm out. But Lion Guard's like, okay. I'd, I'd like you to be a little more adult, but for what you are, you're not bad. Like, at all. Especially the longer you go in it, the better it gets. There's an Uncle Lester in Adam's Family. I've actually never watched Adam's Family. <gasps> Cinderella's being attacked by Tired Heartless. We must save her. Too. For some reason, it made you think of the genie. May I don't know. Maybe the voice. Uh... Well, we already take him out. I met you before. I'll take care of them. You wait right here. Please, may I go with you? I so want to get to the ball. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> All right. But stay behind me. <laughs> Ironic, you were you know, just watching Timon and Pumbaa yesterday? Nice! Or just recently we were watching it. Important to stay strong? Oh. I've never seen uh, The Addams Family? No, I, I know. <laughs> I know of it, and I know the so, song. 
right? but I've never actually watched either the original show, the new movies, the old movies. I've never seen anything Adam's Family, but I know of it. How much sugar did I have today? You have no proof that I had any. <laughs> no! Diet! Heartless! Okay. So far she's taken no damage. And this is probably where she's gonna get some because it's a bunch of little guys. Or maybe not. Okay. Alright, who else wants some? We gotta get Cinderella to her ball. She's gotta meet her prince. Then she's gotta put on the glass slipper after she loses it. No! No! Okay, we got a little bit of damage, but not much. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, you gonna move, Cinderella? Let's go. We got to get you there. Let's go. Uh oh. All right, there we go. Uh, okay, now what do we do? Proceed? Okay, there we go. Protect Cinderella till she reaches the ballroom. We got more to do! No, 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 no! Don't touch her! Oh, good golly molly! I'm not doing good anymore. Okay, there we go. Bring it on. Oh, thank you for the stretch. Hang on. Hey, thank you for the stretch. Thank you. Okay. No, 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 no. Take that. All right, you good, Cinderella? All right, let's go. Come on, girl. Come on. Okay, I know you're wearing heels, but move a little bit faster, right? I want to be sympathetic to that, because I know that probably hurts. But at the same time, we, we, we're kind of being chased for our lives here. Okay, let's go! Come on! Come on! What is one show your parents would watch, but you couldn't stand every time they turned it on? MASH. My dad would watch that, like, every Saturday morning. He had to watch MASH. And I'm like, seriously, dude? Ed and Eddie's on right now. Of course, I know he wouldn't like that in Eddie. <laughs> that was one of the shows that they didn't like me watching, but I did it anyways. <laughs> ah! Aha! Back away! She's got a prince to meet. She has to fall in love. And you will not stand in the way of her love. Nobody's going to stand in the way of her love until Cinderella 3 when they go back in time. Oh, go! we did it. Yay. <laughs> Obtained counter hammer. Install the counter command underneath a blocking command. Hey, use counters to strike back right after a successful block. I should actually block more. I forget that that's a feature. I do that in most games, though. Oh, thank you for the posture check. Oh, thank you. Tara. And a stretch. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> uh. The Duke. <laughs> Your parents didn't like you watching the Haunted House episode of Phineas and Ferb because they thought it would scare us, but we watched it and it didn't scare us. Um, I think that was one my uh, nieces just watched like yesterday or day before. It was the one where they were like telling stories about like back in time. Oh, thank you. 
where it was basically Phineas and Ferb and Candace and Dr. Doom and Smurfs, but it was all like in the past and it was like a Dr. Trekkle Maybe thing. just believing is enough. They weren't scared at all either. And thank you for the posture check. But who is she, Mother? Oh, I just realized it's almost five. Well, the prince certainly seems to. I've never seen her before. Nor I. But she certainly is. How are you liking this game so far? So there far, it's not bad. There's a few things that I had to work on, but so far, I already like it better than Chain of Memories. <laughs> but that's not a high bar. <laughs> oh, I know, granted. I actually did like Chain of Memories enough, but I don't know if I'd play it again. I'd probably just watch the cutscenes if I was going through it all again. Tell me, how Those cards are annoying. <clears throat> well, uh, there is a passage beneath the foyer staircase. Ah, Thanks. Rob Paulson. Did good there, sir. All right, let's find a place to save. It's about time for us to finish up. Put up together and what have you got? All right. You don't want to enter the ball. No, I want to dance with them. I want to dance with them. Well, maybe not with them specifically, but, you know, let's go dance with a girl over there, you know? I forbid you from taking another step down those stairs. Okay. <laughs> Who's your favorite non-Disney Kingdom Hearts character so far? Um, maybe. I don't know. I want to say either Riku or Sora, but at the same time, like, Roxas and Shion, though? Oh, that was just precious, though. It was just precious, though. Um, I don't know. There's some really good ones. Is there a place to save? He was the Duke. Not in the original film, but he has taken over for him in, like, the sequels and stuff. So that was that was Rob Polson's impression of the Duke. So he wasn't him in the original movie. The original movie is, like, 1950. I don't think he was doing voices yet. I think he came around, like, in the 80s or 90s. I know that's when he was really going was in the 90s. Well, he's still going a lot today. I think he got started in the 80s. I think he and Jim Cummings got started right around the same time. Uh, oh, it's back outside. His shoes, though, they look so uncomfortable. I'm not fighting you guys right now. We should to get to a safe point. 1978. Okay. So I was close. See, so yeah, I know he definitely wasn't the Duke in the original film, but I think he's done them in both sequels, the Cinderella Dreams Come True and then uh, the third one, I, I, A Twist in Time. It's like, why can't I remember it? Oh, wait, it was in the next room too? <laughs> oh, well, we already saved out here. And I call, call Rob Paulson my second favorite voice actor. I'm a bad fan. You're not a bad fan. That's a compliment when you can't tell that somebody did the voice. Uh, that means that they're hiding their voice well. So for someone like us, voice actors, that's actually a high compliment. Like, um, I just did... Oh, what are your thoughts on Rob Paulson's Bonsai, Timon, and Pumbaa? I thought it was really good. You know, he's not the best, but I thought he was fine. I remember as a kid not really noticing a difference. And whoever they got to do uh, Shinzi, because I know that wasn't Whoopi Goldberg. I'd be surprised if that was her. Like, I also don't know who took over Timon, because Nathan Lane, I think, only did, like, the first five episodes. And then he dropped out, and they got somebody else. I don't remember who it was. But he did a good job, too. I don't remember any bad voice actors in Timon and Pumbaa. Everyone's voice sounded good enough. At least as a kid, I didn't notice anything. <clears throat> but, yeah, no, I was going to say, uh, yeah. You didn't think about it. Yay, that, that's paying him a compliment without realizing it. Yeah. No, that was another thing. I I was in a progressive commercial that just came out like a month ago. I didn't know it came out. Like, I did this progressive commercial a while back. And uh, I was just like, oh, I wonder if this, when is this going to come out? And then all of a sudden I get like a residual check for it. And I'm like, oh, it's out? And then I go look it up and I find it. And I started sharing it. And... It was kind of fun. Even my own parents, I had to tell them who I was because they couldn't tell. They're like, you're everyone, right? I'm like, no. <laughs> but that's a compliment that y'all think that. <laughs> and even then, most people who've heard it have been like, who are you? And I'm like, 
can't tell. I did it good. <laughs> you were in a progressive commercial? Yes. Hang on. Let me let me pull up a link to it. I'll put it in the chat so you guys can see it. Hang on. Oh, wait. I linked it on my, my YouTube. So let me go there. Okay. Here you go. I will. Here we go. There's the link. The link is in chat now. You guys tell me who you think I am. I'm curious if anyone can pick it out. But don't look at don't look at my community page where I tell you guys what it is. Y'all gotta figure it out. <laughs> it's now in the chat, so you guys can do that. I think I know which one was you because I heard your Yakko voice. My Yakko voice. Did anyone guess right? I think one person did. I didn't look, but you were the puppet boy, right? I'll I'll tell you guys the answer once a few more people do it. I don't want to spoil it for everyone. Thank you for the stretch. Where is it? The link is in chat. Well, Brandon, a commercial. I've been in a few commercials now. <laughs> this is just one of the few that I can actually send y'all a link to look at. Never seen this one before. No, that one it came out like at the end of March. So super annoying. You're thinking Puppet Boy as well? Puppet Boy? Okay, yeah, y'all are figuring it out. <laughs> most most people think I'm the carrot. Oh, thank you for the for the posture check. Oh, and we've got someone for the carrot. A lot of people said the carrot. Some people have said the cheese. And some people have said the little uh, Puppet Boy. Was I one of the veggies or the puppet boy with onion? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. I was the puppet boy. I was the puppet boy. Most of y'all figured it out. And the mirror from your van is halfway down the street. <laughs> yeah, y'all called it. <laughs> that was me. You could have been all of them, though. Well, they didn't ask for it, but it was kind of funny while we were in the recording session. I don't think they're used to voice actors. I think they're used to like on camera stuff. They're like, oh yeah, we've heard you could do a few different voices. Can you give us one higher? So I like piped in, how high do you want it to go? <laughs> and then they just lost it. Cause they're like, we didn't know you could do that. High. I'm like, yeah, I'm a voice actor. That's what most of us can do. <laughs> that was the most avant-garde line you had to record. And the mirror from your van is halfway down the street. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun. That was a fun day, though. It was a fun day. You didn't have time to really guess. I'm sorry, Dee Dee. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't keep the puppet. Oh, I mean, I wasn't there. Like, I recorded um, all of this. I recorded that just from my studio. I didn't go anywhere. We, that was just a home recording. <laughs> Did I get to keep the puppet? No. No, I wasn't there at the set. I wasn't there for any of it. I didn't know what any of this was going to look like. I just knew what the song sounded like, and I knew my line. It's going to be stuck in your head for a while. It is catchy, right? <laughs> now on the next step, Geico. <laughs> you could tell Brian was the puppet boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. But no, that was a, that was a fun commercial to do. That was fun. Oh, yeah, definitely catchy. Apparently, a lot of people have been saying they've been seeing this pop up in front of YouTube videos. I have YouTube Premium, so I don't see ads anymore. So I probably would have known if I had had that up. <laughs> you watched the video four times. We are trying to figure out who I was. <laughs> Am I going to see Multiverse of Madness in theaters? Yes, but probably not till next weekend. You really think Brian was a carrot? You're not alone in that. You're not alone in that. A lot of people thought I was a carrot. Even my own parents were like, you were the carrot, right? Nope. We're the big fresh carrot and, and a whole lot of cheese. Well, there was a temp voice in the original recording that was, and a whole lot of cheese. So, yeah. so that, I, I hear the cheese is, and a whole lot of cheese. But then the actual commercial is, and a whole lot of cheese. Was that a fun commercial for you to do? Yeah, I mean, it was a short recording session because it was just one line. But still, you know, this is the first time I've gotten to be put in a commercial that has video with it because normally I do radio commercials. But that one was just fun. And the fact that it's like, hey, 
you know, progressive commercials, a lot of people see those. <laughs> Because, like, I did a Walmart commercial, but it was just an audio one for radio, and it was a regional thing. And I think this one is, like, national? Which is nice. I think it is. You like the temp voice better? <laughs> and her line of tools. <laughs> you do radio commercials? I've done a few. I did a McDonald's one. I did a Walmart one. I did a, a California Lottery. I don't think I've done anything else. I think I've done another one. Uh, I've done commercials for the Columbus Zoo, but that's to promote myself coming to the Columbus Zoo. So I don't know if that one counts. Um, but, yeah. Um, and weirdly enough, in all of them, I've sung. Like, they're always singing commercials. Like, even this one. I've never done a commercial where I'm not singing. <laughs> Every single time I'm singing. Like, the McDonald's one, it was a group of carolers singing about the McRib. Because the McRib was coming back around Christmas. So we did that, and I was part of, like, a eight-person caroling teams, and I was the tenor. Um, Tis the season for McRib. I remember that song. I'll never forget it. Um, and then it had the California Lottery one where I was, like, this guy singing in a karaoke thing. I forgot what I sang, but it was, like, singing about the lottery. So I did that. Um, I don't remember that song, though. And then for the Walmart one, I had to come up with, like, this operatic song. Uh, tax it was like a tax-free weekend spree and save I think is what it was called and like a little Walmart tax-free spree and save something like that and then this one and the mirror from your band is halfway down the street I've never not sunk I've never done a commercial where I talk <laughs> you, you learn something new we learn something new about you all the time Brian I don't really talk about the radio commercials one because I can't like give y'all a link but I can do that with the progressive commercial you work at Walmart in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Nice. Speaking of Columbus Zoo, are you coming this year? Uh, hopefully. I haven't gotten any official wording from the zoo yet, but um, as long as Cartoon Weekend's going on, I should hopefully be coming. So I'm going to say maybe. <laughs> I don't have any official, have anything official yet, but hopefully that's the case. Every time I learn something new about Brian, I'm always like, no way, same. <laughs> Haven't seen a progressive commercial in a long time. Well, you've seen this one now. It's gonna be cool if you do. Yeah, maybe one day I'll be able to talk in a <laughs> talk in a commercial. But for right now, I'm singing in the commercials, and that's fine. I will sing the commercials. Uh. So yeah, that's fun. Aqua, hello! I finally met Aqua in the game, Aqua Larxene. Now I know where Larxene comes from, and I know where Aqua comes from. Well, the public likes your singing voice. Well, thank you. <laughs> I have no problem singing in commercials. I just think it's funny that I have not been hired to ever speak in a commercial. It's always I've done like five or six commercials, and they're all singing. Now I wish for Brian to show up in person for a Geico commercial. I don't know about in person. I don't think in person's gonna happen. I'm not really repped for on camera, really. And I kinda am, but not really. Like, I don't do auditions for on camera stuff, but like, if an on camera job comes along, then I know I, I'll be able to do it. Because no one sings like guest uh, Brian. <laughs> You will get a non-singing role in a commercial one day. I just know it. Thank you, Destiny the Tune Guy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure it'll happen one day. Ah, <sighs> I just find it funny. Oh, like Brizzy, not in cam, huh? Yeah, it's just I'm not really rep for it. I don't. To be honest, to be honest, I don't want to do on camera. I'm not against it. Like, if the right gig comes along, I'll do it. But I don't really want to be an on-camera so badly that I want to go audition for it and do all that. It's just like, I, I, I don't really want to do it. You know, everyone's like, but that's the real acting. Well, I just, I want to, I want my voice to shine, and I want to be involved in animation, and that's the way I can do it. <laughs> Uh, you wanted to join just to make your day a bit better. Oh, well, you're very welcome. Sorry the stream is about to end here in a little bit, but yeah. Oh, yeah. You're late because you've been working. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, we're not going to be on a whole lot longer, but yeah. 
Let's stay on for a few more minutes. We just do that. I'm camera shy, so I don't know if I want to do live action stuff. Yeah, no, I feel yeah. I'm not camera shy. It's just that world is just kind of crazy. You know, like it's extra cutthroat. I mean, voice acting, getting into voice acting is hard enough. But like the on camera world, they're kind of the pressure that they're under is insane. The executives put insane pressure on them and all that. When the animation, uh, thank you, Hufflepuff Disney. You always make everyone stay better when you come on your streams. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. It's um, it's like, I know a lot of people get mad that animation is not seen as important as live action. And in some ways, I get it too. And in some ways, I don't like it also. But in other ways, it's like, it makes working on animation so much more fun. Thank you for the stretch. Because... You know, you don't have, oh, thank you for the posture check. You don't have executives breathing down your neck like you do a live action film. Because the live action films are like, this has to be perfect. It has to make all this money. And the animated one is like, yeah, the kids will like it. <laughs> so you have more freedom and more liberties. And it's just, it's a calmer environment. And I like that better. You know, you don't get all this crazy pressure on you. And it's not as cutthroat. And it's, you've got to deal with egos all the time. And there's some egos in voice acting, but not nearly as much as there and just everyone I've talked to in on camera is like, no, stick with voice acting. It's just a lot better. And I don't really, just, I'm just not interested in doing on camera, you know. Thank you for the stretch again. I mean, I'm interested in it enough. Like, yeah, the, every so often, like a casting director will reach out just like, hey, we found you on YouTube and we want to at least try you for this part because we think you might actually be good. And I've done that a few times. They've never worked out. Um, and I'm not upset at that, but you know, I just don't want to do it. Writing live action films is, uh, not a big strong suit, but I'm glad you liked it. Oh, that's just somebody else. You don't need all that camera work to be honest. You're doing an amazing job of the stuff that you're doing right now. Oh yeah, no, I, here's my thing with on camera. It's just, if, if a job comes up that I find interesting, I'll do it. But am I going to go out of my way for him? No. No. That's just not my, it's not my wheelhouse, and I'm cool with it. But voice acting, oh yeah, I audition for stuff all the time. <laughs> Miss you, Vet, thank you. Is it because you have to be a certain size, like you have to be handsome and stuff? No, it's not stuff like that. It's just, you know, it's just not as fun, you know? You have to, it, it's taken so much more seriously. You know, oh, thank you for the po uh, the posture check. Yeah, it's it's just taken too seriously, and everyone is not having fun most of the time. I mean, you can have fun, and I'm sure people do have fun. But oh, and we gotta we gotta hydrate. I mean, yeah, I don't want to have to keep up my personal appearance more than I already am. But, I mean, you can be a hefty guy and still be in film. I mean, look at John Goodman. Like, look at Fluffy right now. Thank you for the stretch. Fluffy's been in a lot of films lately, and he's not, he not little. <laughs> and, you know, so, you can do it. You can totally do it. So, it's, you know, it's nothing like that. It's just that whole world is just it's a little too crazy. I'd rather be voice. I want to bring cartoons to life. My my heart and soul is in animation. And that's where I want to be. But if I was asked to do like a live action thing on an animated film, kind of like uh, the segments of Wally -E or something, I'd do it. <laughs> you feel like live action Hollywood is on fire right now? Like it's really good or it's like it's dying and it's on fire <laughs> i don't know which fire you mean like oh it's on fire it's so good it's like oh it's on fire it's like being destroyed you're more into musical theater you don't like your talking voice you'd much rather sing yeah I, and animation is more like musicals you can be that bigger bombastic like if i had to do hotel transylvania but on camera it wouldn't be hello welcome to hotel transylvania it'd be like welcome to hotel transylvania and even then, that would probably be, like, a huge... That'd probably be, like, too big. You know, you've had to, like, really... Uh, have to, like, really tone down your acting to where it's, like... 
you have to do like these really subtle face movements, and I'm like, that's not fun. I want big and bombastic and yeah. So yeah. All right. Well, I've rambled on about this enough. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, nothing against the live action community. I think it's awesome. I just am happier being in in voiceover, and I'd prefer it that way. But that's me. All right. So thank you guys so much for coming on today. Sorry we didn't make Wednesday happen, but we have started uh, Birth by Sleep. I don't know how long this game will take us, but I'm excited. This game so far is pretty good, and I am enjoying it. And, um, yeah. Oh, let me see if we have anyone to raid. Let me... I want to see if this person's on. Hang on. Somebody mentioned them earlier, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I wonder if this person is... Oh, uh, no. I was going to see if Andre... Andre Meadows was on. But, no. No one I know is there yet. Okay. I don't know a lot of people. I should take some time this weekend and go check out some Twitch streams, maybe. Maybe. But I also got stuff to do. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We've got more good stuff coming. Uh, next week should be a regular week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. However, I do need to make this note. Week after next... Week after next, I think I'm only going to have one day of streaming because I'm going to be gone most of the week. I've got a, I've got a work, I guess a conference is the best way to say this. I've got like a work conference I'm going to. Um, yes, going to learn more about the industries and the working things, and I'm going to be gone for like three days. So um, next week, normal week, week after that, it's basically just going to be that Friday because I'm going to be gone like all week. So... Um, I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday for more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Bye.